I don't know if you can hear me, but apparently we're having issues with uh, connecting to Twitch. I keep dropping the connection, but everything else on the internet seems to be working, and I noticed Twitch, and by Twitch, I mean Twitter, was also having issues. So I don't know if it's a connection thing between me and them. I don't know if Amazon Web Service is shitting the bed. I don't know. And again, as I look towards my microphone, which is in the direction of my PC, I notice that I have what looks to be dried liquid on the inside of my computer screen, which means my liquid cooling system is clearly leaking. I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure it's perfectly fine to see dried liquids on the inside of my liquid cooled computer. You know, on the inside of the glass, so it's not like I'm spilling something on it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Just you and me. There's nobody else here, so. Nobody ever listens to this. Everybody just skips over it in the future when they watch this. So uh, that's definitely concerning. Oh well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You can't hear me anyway probably because the whole frickin' thing doesn't work. But that's just part of the course for Krogans. Because you know, that's just how we work with technology. We don't. Yeah, now even the music is shearing. My bitrate is zero. So I have zero, oh, there it goes, 6,000 kilobytes per second, zero. Cool, I'm clearly bouncing all over the place. I have no idea how I sound on stream. So we'll just have to run with it, but if it keeps dropping, there's not much reason to try and stream if I can't stay connected. Which is, of course, something you can't try to check until you play it, until you start. You'd think I'd never streamed before. Well, why don't we just get talking? Why don't we start talking? Because it's great to see you. I'm having connection to Twitch issues, like I said. Uh, so I thank you for being here. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why you're here. But we're here together, and that's what's important. But I do welcome you. I'm the Krogan that is Blue. Uh, my name is Scorn. Most people just call me Blue because they can't remember Scorn. I can't remember Scorn half the time anyway. Uh, but uh, it is great to see you. Uh, as mentioned in the point where nobody watches where it's the loading screen uh it looks like twitch is shitting the bed uh so if i drop out it's not me i have a perfect internet connection it's just something between me and twitch is not working correctly and it also looks like twitter is having issues as well um so that's interesting we'll just see how that works but uh, it is great to have you guys here we're going to continue small saga we're probably going to finish it uh and i just noticed the loading screens changed because now I have a tail in the loading screen. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Whoop, there it is. The candle is shorter, which I mean is guessing it's telling me I'm closer to the end of the game. I have a, a tail, which you can't see my mouse. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Uh, I have a tail now, uh, and the blade is green with a nuclear warning symbol on it or something. I don't know what that is. But uh, So we're probably going to finish this. I would love to play Helldivers uh, in the meantime, but uh, I'm... Pretty sure that there is zero chance of us getting on that, especially at 7 p.m. on uh, Eastern. Uh, I actually have not been able to get into it and play it since basically uh, the first day. Um, so I've played like two whole missions and meanwhile the entire internet's ranting and raving about how great the game is and I would love to play it. Uh, I did have fun with those. but uh, So right now we're just going to wander around as a mole with a lighter on our back. And I really don't uh, remember what we're trying to do here. I guess go that way, maybe. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's right. Somehow the we have a nuclear bomb in the Tower of London. I've come to kill you. This building is certainly something, Sabababan says. Where is Excalibur? It is launched. Hidden, of course. If a god were to discover it, all our work would be for naught. 
Honestly, hiding something this big from the gods has been nothing but hassle, especially with their renovations. Oh, wait. Wait, so we didn't save after... Oh, man. Did I not... How could I have not saved? Yeah, so we reveal that it's actually... It, it's. I think they're alluding to the fact that it's a nuclear bomb. <laughs> Somehow we have a nuclear bomb on a trebuchet launcher here. A French, a French nuclear bomb. So I guess France tried to bomb us? I don't know. Maybe it's incendiary bomb, I don't know. But they're, they're making allusions to the fact that there was a big war. Uh, everybody was hiding around here with the rats. So we've already gone through all this. This is it, Excalibur, the Fire Egg. An authentic relic of the Thunder Age. I don't get it, we've already we've already done all this. Why why didn't it Basically they're talking about how they found it, they reactivated it and So what am I, an hour and an hour and a half behind? They talk about how they're going to use it to kill the Yellow God, but it's also going to burn, like, the entire rodent city. I guess I should have checked into this where I was. I didn't I didn't think it was going to be a problem with the save, so... Once we get through this scene, I'll get back to reading it and writing it and all that stuff. But basically, they're going to... We're going to burn everybody in order to kill him. It's kind of a scorched earth policy. Who else is there? Oh, yes! The tax-dodging merchants, paywall hooligans... Back alley louts who'd murder a child for half a seed. Bigots who spit on the... Yeah, this guy is like the stereotypical everybody's terrible bad guy. It's true, we have a lot of problems, but you're an asshole. Can I skip this? There's no skip button. I just have to math all the buttons to make it skip, so I apologize. But yet again, I don't uh, check the one thing that I should have checked, so... But anyway, hopefully you guys are doing well. This game has been definitely fun. I wanna, I actually wanna make a list of games that I'm gonna put like underneath my stream, like, oh my god, buy these games. And this is definitely gonna be one of them. Um, for the price, it's definitely amazing. Um, it's written clearly by furries. It's definitely written uh, very well. I just quit my job in the game. No, no, not that I have a job here, but no matter. Oh, I know what I did. I know what I did, guys. Because he... said a bomb, bomb bomb How did it go? Because I ranted and raved about the guy who sings in the bar, and then I stopped the stream. So I didn't save after that point. So that's the whole story. I think Aquila's planning on logic Excalibur no matter what. And when that happens, thousands of rodents will die. Here, we're just explaining this out loud in a bar. No big deal. No B NBD. It's kind of like Persona, where they're like just talking about, oh, let's, you know, let's go attack this, you know, rich person and make them have a change of heart. In the middle of school, like in a hallway in the middle of Tokyo with thousands of people nearby. You know, we got green hair over there flipping his hair like he's not a really creepy, not creepy. Well, kind of creepy, but because he's standing there and just... Listening to us. Everybody's listening to us. Could it really kill a god? Yeah, so we've already done all this, and that's why I didn't save. So, basically, we decide that we're going to go kill... We're going to go take over that weapon. We're going to destroy the weapon. Because why not? Yeah, sorry, why is any... Why are you listening to our conversation, people who are ten feet away from us that we're talking aloud about? Something must be done about the Yellow God. We've been doing our homework. We know damage is coming our way. So we're planning a protest. We've got hundreds of allies and gutters in. Hundreds, and we're going to march on the palace gates and have a word with His Majesty himself. We've got a list of demands, a proper manifesto. Yeah, they're going to die. They're just going to be murdered by the big guy with a fucking hammer. This could work, Verm. To reach Excalibur, we need to go through the palace. We can't just waltz in. We'll be arrested for sure. You know, I'm really going to be upset with myself if I had literally stopped, like, ten minutes before the end of this game. But that would be, again, on par for me, because you know how Krogans are. Did he carve... Look at this. I'm going to see if I can... Well, I'll point it out. 
You see right here on the table, it looks like it says Stilton Rules. <laughs> That's funny. They put so many little things into this game that make it worthwhile. But how do we reach it? You know, rumor is there's hidden tunnels all over the place. But we're going to sneak through the hidden tunnels. Oh, come on. We've already read all this. We're going to destroy Excalibur. So we're going to destroy a nuclear bomb somehow. Let's do it. Of course the mod lads on board. There's still time to the night of the 13 chimes. We can wait. Yeah, so I came over here, told the guy to play a song, got got taken in by the song, and then basically stopped. So in order to be taken in properly by the song, I'm going to turn off the other music. Because why not? But the important thing to remember is they again they just went so over the top with this music i don't even know why it's why why would they do that no idea but they did like i would buy the i would buy these songs on like the disc country mice break up your ears and attend to this ditty of mine so basically i got serenaded into forgetting I don't remember if I need to actually do anything else. I honestly don't remember. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Oh, he just keeps singing, doesn't he? Janitor, my night is a wreck. Yeah, we already talked to you. Bye. He wants me to go kill somebody in the woods, I think. And now I'm red on Twitch, so apparently I've stopped. Apparently I've stopped. Aha. Take that. You silly ball people. I'm gonna save afterwards. There we go. So now I won't have to do all that again. But this, this is definitely going on the list of games that everybody should play. I don't think this is where... Yeah, it is. Okay. But yeah, so apparently we're under modern London, because there's, like, the shard and everything. Or the egg weird-looking building. I don't know. It's just the time. The timing's a little odd because they talk about how there was a war and everybody hid. What is that? Whitehall. Oh yeah, that's the uh... <laughs> Mirabelle's den. I don't remember what Mirabelle is. Oh yeah, the. I don't want to fight these people again. That's for damn sure. Back at this rando god's dwelling. No. So I'm just trying to see if there's any other quests that are just outlined, because they don't really have a quest screen. I don't think there is. Cranbale! I got thrown out of Cranbale. Can I just go back in? You had a pleasant flight. Whoa. I, you're kind of hot. Not looking for trouble. <laughs> Neither are we. Oh, great. Wait, a mole wizard? You're carrying a fire starter, right? A fire starter? Oh, yeah. My wand. Can I see it, please? Oh, okay. Sure thing. Just a sec. Burn him. Burn them all. Wow, that's cool. You've done some modding work, right? Loosen the spark wheel, maybe widen the wick. You got it. You got a good eye for technology. Oh, uh, thanks. You too. Why couldn't I play as this guy? He's great and there's a way to push it further. You ever heard of naphtha? Naphtha, it's a fuel, right? Not just any fuel. It's the mythical shrew fire. Really? 
Centuries ago, the Golden Laurel Empire Navy used it to decimate enemy ships. What? A terrifying and volatile material. It creates a father that even the gods fear. That's the stuff. Super cool, right? A fire that will even burn water itself. I can hardly imagine. <laughs> I can see where this is going. It's a sales pitch. How much for one bucket of this magical fuel, Mr. Lizards? Oh, it's a frack. It's not magic, it's science. I wasn't looking to make some seeds, but could we talk about a trade instead? Uh-oh. A trade for what? Technology for technology. Uh-oh. Give me something rare, something unique, something I've never seen before. I've got piles of unique tech in my den in Crimbale. It's just around the corner. You remember that you're banished, right? Mammy's not going to welcome you home with hugs and kisses. I know, but... If Gwen has the courage to return to her home, then so do I. If you say so. Okay, Frack, we'll go fetch some gadget and you'll give us the magical juice. It's not magic or juice. Spare me the techie talk. We'll be back soon. Was this guy here the whole time and I just missed him? Or was it... Her? What's wrong? I'm having second thoughts. What if Mammy sees me? If she gives you any lip, I'll dish out twice as much back. No, it's not like that. It's... She's family. I know I should make up with her. That's what I'm supposed to do, right? Or we could kill her and you could take the throne and nobody would care. But I don't know if I'm ready to have that conversation to... Well... Sabababan. I don't know the details of your childhood, but I know this. You don't own your mother forgiveness. You don't even owe her a conversation. If you don't want to see your mother, then don't give her a second of your time. Really? That seems so cruel. There's a lot of people who need to hear this. It's like, if your family sucks, you don't need closure. You don't need to talk to them. They, you don't owe them anything. I mean, even if, like friends of old, it's... Like, for me, unfortunately, I have, well, I have, clearly have memory issues, but it's like, for me, I don't have any desire to perpetuate drama. So it's like, if I, if we're no longer friends, if I've written you out of my life, you're, it's just over, it's gone. And it's just, because I, I used to dwell on things so much, like, I would just, oh my gosh, this friend of mine, and I'd look at the DMs, and I'd be like, oh my gosh, I miss them, and oh, and it was just so poisonous. Like, clearly, they don't care enough about me to do anything. So this is very good advice. You know, you don't owe anybody anything. Fuck them. You know, if they don't make you happier, they don't make you a better person, then you don't owe them anything, you know? You don't need to make your fam- you know, if your family sucks, don't give them the time of day. Fuck them. Not at all. If she can't respect you for who you are, then she doesn't deserve you. They're gonna be lovers. I don't know if I can see it that way, but I'll do my best. Gwyn and me will watch outside. Most sediments are a wee bit small for us, anywho. Great, we're all set then. <laughs> Fuck off. You send to creme ballet? For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, this game, I can't pronounce stuff very well, so... Like, her name... Somebody told me how it's pronounced, and it's actually, I guess, like an Irish name. But I just kind of go nuts with it. And they started off within, like, three seconds of the game, starting with, like, Falalade. And, uh, just fuck your family, basically. You know, that's just, you know... That's how you were born. Your family fucked your family. I mean, that's so... I don't see the problem with it. You're such a jerk, Blue. I still love you, though. That th the thing that we want was in your you little treasure cave, right? <laughs> and because I forgot to take a drink before the stream started, I'm going to do so now. But, uh, Blue, welcome in. Great to see you. And uh, you know the rules here. Everybody hydrates at the same time. So, salute. Happy days. 2,461 ways. Which, that was something my father would say. He'd always make up a random number. And apparently, there was a guy on TV who would do something similar. Uh, he would raise a glass, and he would salute, happy days, and then he would put up a number. 
and apparently the number, uh, unbeknownst to anybody, the number he said was actually, ba it was like a gambling number. So it was like for Pacino, Chinko, some, some obscure, like almost like lottery game. So people would bet on what number it would be and then he would roll the dice and say it. Try to stay out of mischief. Just sell me shit. Why don't you sell me shit? You bastard. But anyway, so that was always interesting to me that uh, this guy would, for years, would just salute happy days 421 ways and people would not know. It's one, it was like the if the people who know, the people who don't know meme before that was actually a meme. He found a small roll of band bandages. So I just always have a lot of respect for somebody who's going to uh, flaunt the law, like, on TV. It's for years. I just love that. Hi, Auntie. Hello, Sababa Bob. Um, mm-hmm, say no more. You're as easy to read as a child's picture book. Don't worry. I don't tell your mother that you came through. Thank you, Auntie. You're the best. Mm-hmm. So this is one of the uh, early settlements that we go to. The game, dude. Back in my old den. Nostalgic, right? You could say that. God, I love that Nokia phone. I had a Nokia phone like that, and it was just indestructible. It was great. It did everything you wanted to do, and it had snake on it. I used to come in here and tinker with something whenever Mammy and me would argue. By the time you arrived, I knew the ins and outs of all godly things. Oh, right. I almost forgot why we were here. This won't take a second. Give me a Lego. A pet, a digitized pet. That was a Tamagotchi. Oh, dude, that's so cool. I love it. All done. Huh? That's all? Yep, let's go. Game dude. Sapa Bon said this thing is messing apart. The runes are strange. You cannot read godly writing. A treasure trove of technology. Exactly. And that's that's what they that's what I love the charm about this game. Is like the knife I have on my back is they consider it a godly weapon because it's like a pocket a human pocket knife. And I just love the fact that to a rodent, yeah, a guy in a biohazard suit would be a god. You know? And the fact that a lighter would just be seen as this mysterious, you know, ungodly creation like oh my gosh you can just create fire so i just really like the uh oh lady sub -ba -ba -ba? no uh oh this is not gonna go well playmaster in the main i remember you the hedge knight this is not gonna go well you don't need to say anything we're banished i know we're just leaving let's go sub -ba -ba -ba. wait oh she's gonna try to kill me sub -ba Lady Gila misses you dearly, and she wants to see you. I mean, to a human, you're as close to a god as they'll ever see. Exactly. And that's, and that's, I love that dichotomy of, you know, to these little people, like, everything we do is completely mysterious. Like, uh, the big rat lady, or whatever, she's not a rat, she's something. But, like, she worked, she li grew up in a lab, and they cut her legs off, just, like, whatever. And gave her new like robo legs or whatever and one of the people when you go back there like is totally in line with oh the humans are doing this the gods are doing it there has to be a good reason behind it it's like they're they're you know cutting out our livers and you know they have to be doing this for a reason the gods know what they're doing and uh, it's a very eloquent way to me i'm a krogan i'm a redneck give me a break it's eloquent to me that it's a very I can't think of the right word, but to me, it was poignant of a people. And I've said it before. God has a plan. And, you know, OK, you know, there has to be a plan. There has to be a reason you're suffering. And it kind of pokes fun at that a little bit where it's like, oh, yeah, they're just, you know, cutting off people's legs. And these gods are doing horrible, mammy things to these people. And, you know, I have a religion. I'm not going to get into it. I never I'm not going to press you guys on whatever you want to believe. That's what that's personal. Um, but you know, it's poking a little bit of fun. And if you can't poke fun at something, then there's a problem with it. And even with religion, 
um, not to get off on a tangent here, but a lot of people take their religion very seriously and that's very, that's fine. But um, you have to be able to kind of poke at your, what you believe a little bit, you know, it's like, oh, there was a flood that killed everybody. Well, okay. You know, oops, <laughs> you know, and just like this where, oh, they're removing our organs and the gods, the gods have a plan. But yeah, like you said, Blue, that's how religions are born. It's like, oh, we got hit by a meteor. God must hate us. But anyway, she wants to see you. She does. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. I, I don't want to see her. Maybe I will someday, but not today. You can tell her that. I'm not telling her shit. <laughs> I'm not telling the queen that. Fuck you. You've grown a lot since last time I saw you, but you're still Lady Gilly's daughter. You have obligations, familial duties. You don't get to just throw that away because it makes you uncomfortable. I'm going to have to fight her. I said no. You heard them. We're going. This is ridiculous. What kind of girl refuses to see her own mother? Must I really drag you to the throne room by the tail? I'm not a girl, I mean. No longer. I am a man. I am a man. I'm not a girl. I'm a man. I don't know what I'm going to do to her voice if that's the case. And I'm not a plaything to be dragged. I'll melt your armor. <laughs> I'll burn you to death. You can reject the labels, but at the end of the day, we're both bound to our roles. Well, then you're going to be tied up in bondage? I don't know. You're the lady's daughter and I'm the lady's ward. This is the way of society. Grow up and accept it. Need a paw. I can't listen to this as a straight face. That's kind of the idea of it. No, this is my fight. Oh, crap. This is not good. This is not great. Oh, we got even new... Every time is new fight music. It's just ridiculous. Okay. Okay, so what are we going to have to do? We're going to have to overclock. This is not great. This is a terrible... I don't want to do this. You think yourself a warrior? I know myself a warrior. I'll be the judge of that. So I'm being goaded, which means I should definitely not attack, right? Not attacking, then I'll just come to you. Deals have a special damage. She's wearing metal armor, so I don't know how well this is going to work. 14, not great. Okay, six damage, that's terrible. What is Whack going to do? Is Whack going to do anything? Nothing. Okay, so I have to burn them. So for those of you who don't remember, you basically have the little energy pips up in the left-hand corner. So when she goads me, she doesn't do anything. So let me try defending when I know she's going to attack me. Whack. Okay, so I take half damage. If I overclock this time, she's gonna goad me again. I choose my place. It's not for you, Mammy, or the gods to decide. Saying it does not make it so. I'm worried about attacking on a goad. I feel like I wouldn't want to defend against the hedgehog wielding a giant. Yeah. But the trouble is, if I attack her while I'm. She's goading. Let's see. Oh, God, she has 80 health. Fuck. Yeah, see? So when she's goading, she takes so much. Yeah, so I'm fucked now. So she's going to do six damage, and then she's going to do another six damage on this one. So I wasted my turn, basically. So she's going to goad again after this turn. So she'll goad now. But will she go before I fire, is the question. Because if she does, then I'm fucked. No, she will. Why does that do so much less damage? Oh, because she's still defending even though she hasn't taken her turn? That sucks. Who's on Sabababam? I'll come to you. Yeah, so I don't attack on that. I can't bash her, so I have to manage my burnination attacks. You know what? I'm gonna play this safe. I'm just gonna fucking defend when she attacks. Load up on fire damage, because I can overclock, boost the next damage. Yeah, then she goads. 
I defend. Last time I even saw a game of combat with this was Vile of Infinity. I haven't heard of that game, but I might have to look into it. But just the, the sheer charm of this game is amazing. Oh crap, I forgot if she goaded this turn or not, because I was too busy looking at what you said. Oh no! Um... Well, it's not worth it, so I'm just gonna defend. Distraction! <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> God, I have so just so much health for this character to kill. Got yeah, goad, come on now. So overclock. Not attacking, then I'll just come to you. Bam! Fire! So I'm gonna have to do this like three more times. I've got the health to do it. I think. I'll just come to you. But when did uh, Vial of Infinity come out? Is that an old game, or is it a new game? Wakake! They do do this a lot in this game, where they're like, No, this is my fight! It's like, then why are we a team? Why are we a team if we're all gonna fight our own battles here? And I get, I get the symbolism, you know, hey, this is my problem, I should fix it. But we have friends. You know, and that's what friends are for, is to help us through this crap. The things that we shouldn't have to face alone. Oh, it's very old, just some small furry kink room. No. That one. This should kill her. Oh! You burn me, Sabababan! I can hardly believe how much you've changed! You've really grown up. I'll take my leave and you two can take yours. Are you gonna tell Mammy I was here? I'll tell her you're thriving nothing more and that I need medical attention. You've cooked me alive in the middle of town. Yeah, nobody's gonna know that we were here. We just battled somebody for ten minutes in the literal middle of town. Why is your armor on fire and your little acorn thing burned? That is the truth after all. I'm glad for it. Lady or warrior, girl, boy or neither. Your father would have been proud of you, so ba ba bun. Can't believe she doesn't leave like a smoke trail. Nice fighting. You alright? I got to eat a cookie. Yeah, the whole way to be completely engulfed in flame. I'll see you outside, Sir Vim. Yeah. Let's go. I was wondering about her weapon, why we don't up... Because everybody else seems to upgrade her weapon, so I guess it's like everybody has little side quests. But yeah, so the white rat with the uh, red cloak is called the red dragon. But, like, they remove, they cut off her feet. And if you go to her, like, little... You can actually see it on, like, a, when they zoom in, well, the chat kind of covers it up. But you can see the scars on her legs. And they poke fun at that because she's, like, chained to a wall by her leg. And so you're supposed to be breaking her out. And then she just, like, takes off her leg take so the chain doesn't bind her anymore. But it's just really funny. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. I don't know why they did that. Overclock charge. I don't know what overclock is, so I'm hesitant to... I forgot what I was going for. Healing items used by Sabababan are 30% more effective. I guess I'm going to go to... Overclock, because I mean, I guess it's gonna be good, right? It's gotta be good. It's called Overclock. But yeah, this game is definitely, they have so much love put into it. Um, just the fighting music alone. Uh, like how m big fights have different music, even some of the smaller fights have different music. Um, take a look at this, Frack. Woo! This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. There's a little guy in there. Ah, oh, yes, there is. I'm true to my word. Pass me your wand and I'll fill it up with naphtha. What the hell is naphtha? What is that supposed to be? Boosh. It just burns me to death. Like, I'm standing right here. <laughs> I'm pointing it out on the wrong screen. I'm just generating just like, boosh, and just kills me. It's fine. It's fine. 
Hmm. Doesn't seem different to me. You've got to hold the trigger down, really pump it full of that magic juice. You just said it wasn't juice. It just explodes. Explodes. Explodes, and then you spelled it wrong again. That's the height of irony. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> we just killed the protagonist. Oops. So Hababan learned Hellfire. I'm a dead. What else you got, buddy? God, I'm loving this little guy. Thanks and good luck out there. Mother Fluffer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I found it incredibly amusing. You're a joy to have around. So thank you for being here, Blue. You are making this definitely... You are making this very worthwhile. If nothing else, you, you and I getting to hang out is a lot of fun. So thank you. I'm going to take another drink while we're flying away. I'm just worried that... I'm, not, I'm totally not stalling, but I'm just worried that there's like... Because everybody has a new weapon now. No, she doesn't. So let's go back to her hometown. Because I'm worried that she doesn't have a new weapon. But yeah, so basically it's just this fucking lab. She grew up in a lab. And all of her family and friends are dead. Hey, I wouldn't be here if there wasn't a big blue Krogan boy to chill around. Aw. Cro blue Krogan to chill around. I guess I added boy. Let's definitely save after we upgraded her weapon. I wonder what that... Oh, this isn't the screen I actually wanted. Oh yeah, there's no quick and easy way back. Oh yeah, there is. We lowered this ladder. Climb up the ladder, yes. The toilet! And it still bothers me there's like that one spot of red in the sink. It just bothers me. But yeah, you come in via this the uh, the toilet, so that's that's always helpful. Uh-oh. Fern! This place parries painful memories. Memories of what the gods did to me. Memories of my lost family. So you better have a good reason for taking me back here. I do. Closure. Closure? I've already settled things with Sir George. I'm not talking about that guy. Isn't there someone else who wronged you? Sir Verm, I hope you know what you're doing. Do, 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 do. Hey, a box. Yeah, so this is where all her family used to live. And all the cages are gone because they're basically, you know, they all got brutally murdered. But, but it's the God's will, remember. It's God's will that they all suffered and died. George. This is her b old boyfriend, by the way. Gwen. Since you last visited in visit, I investigated the other rooms. For whatever reason, the gods have decided that Whitehall as an institution is over. Our rapture draws near. The whole colony shall be eradicated. I trust in the gods' judgment, but it's bitter truth to acknowledge. The white gods are going to kill every last resident? Not every resident. Not me. Could surely not me. I've been a faithful servant. One member of Whitehall shall live on at least. A rebellious dragon. I take some solace in that. The wizard voice borderline valley girl, is it? I don't know. I, I'm awful at voices. It's... Why don't you pack up whoever's left and just get out? Ancient sycamores cannot sprout young roots. What is that? Some corny old old way proverb? The old way is law. Those who rebel against it are doomed to a wretched fate. Do not linger. The white god is close. There's no convincing, George. Let's go, Verm. I could kill him. I'm gonna push the button. Push the button. What does this do? Do not press it. Why not? Because it is forbidden. Well, now I'm definitely going to press it. Well, that just makes me want to press it more. <laughs> this is like Robocop. I love the fact... Some people would be incredibly upset that they can 
figure out what the line is going to be next, that makes me feel like a writer. That makes me feel connected to a game. When the game does what I say I want to do, that makes me... That's, that's good. One time I saw a god accidentally brush against it. It made right rackets, screeching noises, and flashing lights. We were freaking out, like the sky was falling. The gods got all riled up too. But then it stopped, and that was that. No consequences, no aftermath. Kind of anticlimactic, to be honest. I see, so it's a siren of the gods reserved for emergencies. We should avoid it. All the noise would draw unwanted attention. Push the button. Push it! A shiver runs through you. Your fur stands on end. Are you really sure you want to push the button? Push it. Firm, stop. No. Let me do it. Oh, yeah. She, I want to... She's my girlfriend now. Oh, cutscene. Okay, here I go. Huh? Idiocy. If this turns into, like, a guitar riff, like, for the fight song, I'm gonna lose my mind. Now look what you've done. Leave now, quick, before the white god comes and smites you all. No, not yet. I see what Verm was doing dragging me back here. For all my talk of rebellion, I've avoided confronting the one who wronged me the most. You want to confront the white god? Idiocy of idiocies. Do not throw your life away to spite a deity. This isn't spite. This is vengeance. No, I picked the wrong word. It's justice. Call it what you will. I cannot partake against such blasphemy. What's up? That's him. I just love how you like shake the floor when you walk. Oh, that's so cool. Are, are we really doing this? I think we are. Brace yourselves. We're gonna fight a fucking god. What's up? Oh, that's so cool. We're gonna fight his hand or something. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Look at that, that's awful. Oh, that's... That's objectively horrifying now. That's horrifying. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Go Berserk! Berserk, let's test the limits of this god's immortality. Okay, so we got Hellfire now. What does Hellfire do? Deal extreme special damage. That is... This is crazy. I love it. And look, his hands are even lit by, like, the emergency alarm. They're, like, red. That's awesome. Okay, we're definitely short... Oh my god, 300 health, 300 health. Fuck me. Something tells me he's gonna grab with this hand and then, like, eviscerate you with this. So we're gonna just take down the damage of that hand. Good, I do 8 damage. What sweet are you? Ooh, heal all allies, that's nice. For Verm. So we'll give Verm another turn. Yeah, I think the smart thing to do would be to take out... Because if I focus my attacks on one, I'll kill one of them at least. But if I try to split them, I'm never going to kill either of them. God, that's so cool. It's just creepy as hell. If I was that guy. I wouldn't be fighting for... Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Oh, the flick! So I'm glad that I dumbed down the scalpel. Holy balls. It did 10 damage. It did 10 damage with half damage. That's ridiculous. Okay, so I need to... Take it easy on how I'm... Hellfire! Attack the right hand of God. Do you see that? Attack the right hand of God. 
Oh, God. If I was that guy, I wouldn't be fighting in arms with assortment of small tools with a scalpel. Yeah, basically, what's in this coffee? <laughs> okay, here we go, the special attack. Whoosh. Okay, 26 damage, that's not bad. Against God, that's not bad. Yeah, I need to break his shield, too. Most of the damage I'm going to be doing to this guy is going to be coming from bleeding. More than likely. Oh, jeez, that's three. So he does, what, eight damage? Ten damage? Yeah, ten damage. So I think I need to wait a turn on healing. I'm going to wait a turn on healing. Vital Sever, that's not good. Oh no, we're all bleeding for- we have six stacks of bleeding, Jesus Christ. We are fucked. Holy fuck. So that means every turn we're gonna take a huge amount of damage. God damn it. That fucking sucks, bro. I've done a hundred damage, I'm gonna die here. 11, 11, 11, 11. The hubba bomb is bleeding. I'm wondering if I should. Well, even if I have overclocked, I'm not going to be able to do anything the next turn. I'll overclock anyway. Wait, it's bleeding. Yeah, I'm in deep trouble here. I'm in deep trouble here. Let's see, yeah, hopefully Sweet Aria, but I've never used it. Hopefully it does a... fuck ton of healing. 15, that's not great. Right hand up, God, it's bleeding. Oh, she did. Great. So it just lost a third of my power. My healer doesn't have enough heal juice. I went about this the wrong way, I think. The King's Paw. Yeah, the absurdity of it is, uh... A lot. And the trouble is, I don't have enough resources to keep going. See, I did 170-ish damage going pretty much almost all out. He's got 12 stacks of bleed. So I've got to... Gwen does more damage the more they're bleeding. Yeah, my healer has to defend. So he's taking 15 damage. Yes! Good. That's bad. I knew there was going to be a grab attack. Oh, fuck me. So my healer is now grabbed. But does that mean he's going to get squished? Or is he going to... If I attack the hand, will it free him? Or am I wasting a turn attacking the hand? The trouble is, he has to rage anyway, so he can't do anything of value. I don't know what to do. Because she only has one energy, and for most of the stuff she needs to do, yeah, she's gonna have to defend. Bruce cannot move. That sucks. Hello, what's up? Uh, he has enough health to survive, so this is auto. Seven, 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 seven. Oh, because he's not he's not uh, broken anymore. Sixty-six damage. So do I burn two pips and decreases? I got it. Holy crap. Oh, he's taking damage while he's in the fist. Oh no. I broke. Yeah, I should have attacked the other fist. Cover 
for one energy for every ally, and I'm gonna get the shield. Bruce cannot move. Uh oh. Attack break? Well, that's not good. Yeah, I just killed him. Okay, so now we have to do this with uh, just us two and one health. So my bleed is going to kill me the next turn, so I have to heal. Gwen is bleeding. Oh, I could have used... Oh, no, I didn't want to use the odd mushroom on my uh, main attacker. Not enough energy. Well, that's, that's poor. That is subpar. Survive it. Survive it, you bitch. She didn't. Click. Okay, so I'm gonna be able to kill one hand, maybe. Maybe. I don't think he has enough damage to do it. Well, I'm glad you dropped by while you did. The bleeding stopped. So I think... I think I should actually, ironically, go after the other hand first. So I should damage down the scalpel, but then I should go after the other hand. Because that slam is ridiculous, and it can grab somebody and squeeze them to death. A mouse should not fear death, but never beginning to live. So I think I actually need to go after the other arm first. There should be a fast forward. But great to see you, Pillow Knight. I appreciate you coming by. We are currently on, so let's just skip this. Yeah, Emperor Marcus Mouse. Push the button. What does this do? Do not press it. We're pushing the button. Firm, stop. I want to push it. Okay, here we go. I bet I hope she takes like his scalpel. The trouble is her the magic girl's attack just doesn't do very much damage. Maybe I should attack both. It isn't out of spite, it's justice. What's up, Severus? How are you doing? Great to see you. We're about to fight God. Well, oh uh, god. That's him. This was so cool. Are we really doing this? I think we are. Brace yourselves. Just doing. This is so cool how they did this. I love it. Putting on the gloves. Yeah, so we gotta go after the open hand first. I think that's how they did it. Is like they're tricking you into going after the scalpel first because it's got a weapon, but the other hand is actually the one that's the problem. So we're gonna break the scalpel so it does less damage. He's gonna defend. My healer has to defend. No, let's, let's not. Let's go. Let's go for it. Why not? Let's go for it. We'll give the mouse a chance to attack again. Clivale. I'm sorry, but getting cut four times by that knife is not going to be... would be pretty terrible. The left hand of God is bleeding. should I do this? Because if I burn all my energy now... You know what? I'm going to just regular attack it. I'm going to have her come back and do... I'm going to have... Knock it down its defense and then we'll do it. That way. I've 
still find it weird that people find this as normal spawn to crush it to death in their mere hand. Well, I think that it's like, it's something that you can just do to show how effortless your struggles are. It's like, I don't need a weapon, I can just grab you and kill you. You know, I don't need a boot, I don't need a gun, I don't need pesticides, I'm just gonna squish you with my bare fucking hand. I wish I would paid attention to how much damage your fire did. Healer needs to defend. Oh shit. He used that way early. Last time he didn't use that till like the end of the game. End of the fight. So his defense being down means I do five more damage per hit. Imagine there's a second stage and the hands are just covered with band-aids. <laughs> That's horrifying. Don't don't say such things. Well, she has to defend. She has no energy to do anything. Oh my God, we are we are bleeding to death, burning to death. I mean, we're everything to death in here. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna have her attack the other hand so that it can bleed loose. Hey, 007, what's up? Great to see you. How are you doing? Obviously, he has to heal everybody. But it's only gonna heal 10, so his, the next attack is probably gonna kill everybody. I should manage healing better. The right hand of God is bleeding. Oh, shit. Well, he did. Oh, we survived with one! Oh no, the bleeding! Well, the fight's over. The fight's over. I can't win without him. Because he does so much damage. Oh, that sucks so bad. She just doesn't, she has nothing to do against these guys. Does whack work? I mean, does whack do any? I know it's not gonna do much, but yeah, so it does five damage, who cares? Yeah, so this fight is going terrible considering because that slam at the start just fucking killed me. Well, the, the boss didn't use slam until the last move of the last round after the other hand had died. I thought that it was a fucking, you know, like I'm the only hand left kind of attack, not, Not a holy balls, I'm just gonna do this to everybody. So I gotta heal her. I gotta keep her going. Well, I'm glad you're doing good, 007. I'm about to die. Shield break, okay, I'll take it. And he grabbed my healer, so I'm even more fucked. I was hoping he'd grab the girl, the burners, because she doesn't... This is not going to go well. Not enough energy. Yeah, the sheer lack of energy is, gonna, is punishing me here. Bruce cannot move. Vital sever. Yep, so I'm bleeding again. Crush. Eight damage. Yeah, so my healer's dead. This was just a bad generate red RNG, basically. Because if I had done everything the same to the left hand, it would have been different. So now I'm attacking a hand pointlessly. Three damage, jeez. Yeah. I don't know if my approach is wrong and I just triggered it early because I was attacking the, the fat hand. I don't know. I'm not sure what I did wrong here. Because, I mean, I understand it's a god. It's supposed to be tough. So, you know, I get the fact that it's supposed to be tough, but I don't know what I did wrong there. Like, I can't be much higher level because there's not a lot of fights left. So it's not like I can, I'm coming into this too early. Hey, gamer, what's up? We are currently starting to bash our head against the wall. Do not push the button. I'm going to save after all this dialogue. No, don't push it. I'm going to save after this dialogue so we don't have to d listen to it again. But how are you doing, gamer? How's your day going? 
fancy hat for ne'er do wells. Makes you feel bold. So she loses the defense but gets an extra pip. Soft and absorbent stuff. Stops bleeding. Wow, that's good. Have you completed the other side stuff? Oh, so hometowns resolving their plots. Well, yeah, I did. I haven't done Bruce because, I mean, he did his, right? But. I did her, so she's got the super fuel. I'll try it one more time, and if I get shellacked... That round, I got shellacked. Like, I just fucking died. Boom, stop, I want to do it. But the first fight, I did well. Beginner's luck, maybe. But he didn't do slam at the beginning, so I didn't take 14 damage per person right at the start. Yeah, basically. Because there's not a lot of, like, random fights that you can just fight to level up. This isn't spite. It's justice. I have to read that line. But how they did this reveal is so cool. I love this. That's him. Are we really gonna do this? I think we are. Thought of Krogan's head headbashing. It's one of two. It's the top two things that Krogan loves to do. Headbashing. I can't say the other thing. A lot of work went into this fight. Clearly a lot of work went into this fight. So what did I do wrong? Yeah, it does. Do I need to defend more? The ra this guy can't- Vern can't defend, because once he's raging, he only has three turns to use it. And he heals while he's doing it. She's basically useless in this fight. I'm just not sure what I'm doing wrong. Because I need to break him so he does less damage. Two damage, so that's a waste of a point. Should have defended. I knew it. I knew I should have defended, but I didn't do it anyway because I'm stupid. But now the question is, which do I go for? Because I just don't. Because this one, this hand grabs and smashes, but this hand bleeds us, and I died more to bleed last round. So I think I need to get rid of the bleeding. Because yeah, the grab is bad, but the bleed killed me. So I'm just going to go for knife hand, even though I, th I still think it's a trick. I'm pretty sure it's a trick. The trouble is, I'm, I'm going to have two rounds of bleed no matter what I do. You know what? We're going to save. We're going to save and we're going to save the fire until he's, def he's lowered his attack. But I'm basically sacrificing a team member and hoping that it's not one of the two people that I need. So do I blow the three early? Because he's going to bleed me this turn. I gotta heal. I gotta do the heal. Because not healing this turn causes me to be put under the knife, no pun intended, next round. Yeah, see, so he always bleeds on this turn. And then he slammed me, so yeah, had I not healed, I would have been a deep shit. Alright. So we gotta burn. We gotta turn and burn. 
11, 11, 11, 11. So 44 damage. So how about Bomb is bleeding? Six damage every turn. God. I mean, I know I have an item that stops it, but is it really worth using? Because it's only eight damage. Hellfire! Burn, bitch, burn! I probably should have just defended. 41 damage. So she did in that turn just as much as he did, but now she's useless. She has to defend basically all night long. I'm gonna try a defending one. Jesus. I'm in such a bad position healing wise. He's probably gonna grab this germ. I'm gonna have to hope that the rat survives, that verm survives. Oh, I won't even be able to heal next round. Good, good. That worked out. Yeah, now I'm in trouble because I just blew the healing instead of defending. How am I doing so much worse every other time? Other than the first time, I did very well. King's Paw, so I'll heal myself. Ooh, yeah, I guess I could use it on somebody else. So Hubbabon is bleeding. Gwen is bleeding. Her only high healing mushroom is not exactly... I didn't think very smart about that, did I? She's gotta keep the bleeding up, though. It's the special grog. The okay wine! Oh, that's what I should do the first round for him. Well, that's poor. That's bad. Now I'm fucked. Not that I wasn't fucked before, but... I gotta burn the other hand. I gotta see if I can break it. I don't think I can. It stands to reason that I should be able to, but... Now I'm, all I'm trying to do is seeing if that other hand can be broken. I'm not doing anything else. I missed! Are you insane? I missed. Well, this will kill me. Nine damage each turn. Yeah. So the bleed just fucks me. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. But is there a threshold that causes him to lose? It does! Okay, that's knowledge we can use. And he had one pip of bleeding. That's so crazy. Okay. So now I know for the next time I fight it, I don't have to focus the right hand, except for when it's fucking... Smash. So I'm gonna die, but I learned... I was basically just trying to learn that. So that was what? 40 damage? Basically 40 damage to get the hand to open up. That's fine. That's relatively easy to get. Yeah, that's... That's painful. The bleeding has stopped. Sweep, eh? Uh, well, Ray, yeah, it's not gonna bleed. No matter what, I'm gonna die the next turn, so. No, he's gonna bleed me. Okay, that's fine. Click! Yeah, because the only thing I can think of doing is going back to the squirrel's house. I mean, that's literally the only thing I can think of to get higher level, but what if that takes more? What if I'm supposed to beat this first and then go to that? Hey, money. All right, so let's try and see if that other place has a... Uh, it's a clean floor. Very clean floor. We'll go into the... <laughs> leave the area through the toilet. Excellent. 
Well, this is the end game, though. And Ken's, how are you doing, Ken? It's great to see you. Because right now, it's basically we're going to be doing... It's given us time to go do whatever. And then we go fight the Yellow God. So it's not like we're... We have a lot of other stuff to do. And that's the problem with this game is there's not... It's not like Pokemon where I can go run around in the weeds and fucking uh, level up myself. So let's go back to... Uh, the squirrel's domain and see if there's anything. Just waiting for my addiction to finish downloading. Pornography? What is your addiction? I wanted to play... I thought about actually keeping Helldivers on in the background. So that it could secure my spot in line. Which I'm sure is what a lot of people are doing, is they basically just leave Helldivers on to get them a spot in line. <laughs> Which is part of the problem. Just because it's, you know, sitting there and whatever. Can't go in there. Hey. I helped overthrow the Duke. <laughs> I heard. It's great news. I'm so relieved I don't have to keep churning out weapons for that warmonger. Yeah, so can I get a discount? No. Awesome. So, the plate armor's still 20 seats. I'll take it. Set of plate armor. Put that on, you'll be ready to take on the world. I intend to. I wish something worse, Destiny 2. That is pretty terrible. I've just given up on that game. So. Hefty, but unbreakable. So, wow. So I gain one fucking pip. I lose a pip. I loot. I get one point of armor and I loot. Wow, that sucks. Who dies first? See, the trouble is, is that she's so she's useless. For this fight, she's pretty useless. So giving her more power is great. More defense, but it's like it's not going to do anything because she doesn't do any damage. Have you done everything involving the cats? I don't know. I wish I could give up on it, but it's the one MMO I want to play. I get it. You know, I get that. You know, you play, you have, everybody has games that they're like, I, I wish I could quit you. Um, centurion armor. So it's, is equal in to her centurion armor. I gotta give Gwen some sort of heal. This mushroom seems like it's something I'm supposed to give to somebody. <clears throat> but yeah, um, you know, I played a ride forwarded around with Destiny 2 a little bit uh, back in the day. And the trouble is, is that when they change, like I did all the red, red god or whatever his name is. The bat, yeah. Drop by any time for a free concert. But he's playing the same song as the rest of the tree, but just with, like, a fucking electric guitar. I think that's so cool. I just think that's so cool music sound design. I'm very easily amused. If that's one thing, if you guys haven't realized, is that I'm incredibly easily amused. You look like you've got something on your mind. I've already asked all those questions. So there's stuff to do with the cats? Well, you're new. Who the hell are you? I've switched up my repertoire. Fewer marches, more jazz. Oh, that's the hornblower guy who passed out. That's hilarious. He was so cool. So you're saying there's more to do with the cats. But I can't think of anywhere else there's cats. I mean, the initial cat, maybe? There might be, you bastard. There were supposed to be other words in front of that, but I lost the ability to come up with other words. But yeah, and then there's the other bat who's like, you're sending me to college by buying this whatever item. 
There's the initial cat, but there's a cat. Well, yeah, the other cat doesn't do anything, though. He just, you talk to him and he's like, hey, how are you? So are you saying the... Imperialist cat? Taylor's making me want to grab it. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's a redeem. I should turn that off by now. Boop. It's been on for an hour. You guys have had plenty of tail for that redeem. Taylor's very grabbable. Vaninum. What's up, dog? Welcome to Vinum again. <laughs> I just love that how this place is made like entirely of Legos. Like these Lego trees. Soccer. Quintus is jailed. Kind of sus that Magnus only stepped up this late. What's up with that? Kitty. What do you want, mouse? I was just wondering. Yeah, so there's... I mean, I've already asked all these things. And what the, the subtle thing is, like this, this... The music in here is also being played on, like, a kid's toy. Like the little xylophone thing that everybody had? I just noticed that. That's amazing. Can you pet the cat? No. Well, you do initially, I think, to wake him up. But... Well, so somebody redeemed the tail whip. There we go. Gecko, you're leaving. We're gonna miss you, bud. Be sorry to say bye sometime. Hey, come back here. Oh, you're a ghost. Your moves were bare sick. And I do love how one of their, their deities are basically action figures. I thought about actually today using my uh, old model just so you could see how the tail responded. Because certainly, I love this poster. That poster is so cool. I want to get a Krogan picture of me doing that. That's just amazing. I'll never remember to do that, but I actually have it in my little house here. And somebody was like, hey, that's a COVID mask for your your bed. I'm like, oh yeah. But like, even the little detail for the uh, the Lego windows. Like, somebody somebody knew what they were doing. Tail's so big it has to be strapped down for security. Boing, 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 boing. Well, we're clipping through the bottom of it, but it's fine. I just noticed he grabs it better in some places. America. No, that's... A... No. No. Crenabalad. We're back in Crembale. Yeah, that's where I'm going as the first cat. Dave the Norm. Cormac the Watchful. And I like how they consider this guy a demigod because he looks like the gods. Hello? Hello? Oh, cutscene. This hall brings back strange memories. Nostalgic, right? I don't know if I would say nostalgic. I'm smelling something. Titan for an indignation. <laughs> We're not alone. Yeah. There be Tiger, the Falada Day. He's probably watching us right now. There's a Falada Day in this room? Relax. He wouldn't dare try anything. Come out, come out, Tiger. Kitty! I would like to talk to the mouse. Alone. I love how they did these text boxes. Like, for these supposed invincible, godlike people they want to impress. Like, this is, this is Cthulhu. What are you doing? I just love how they do everything about that. They change the color of it. They, re they reverse it. They make the text all funky. It's just so great. Not a chance. Nick, take another step and the four of us will skin you alive. Nah, it's fine. Go. 
Really? You sure? Kitty cat here won't try anything. If you say so. Shout if you need anything. What's up? I'll kill you. <laughs> you just say he says what's up. <laughs> oh, that's not so great. Ooh. I got wind of your quest, Mouse. I'm not doing the voice right for him. I don't remember how I did his voice. Oh yeah, I didn't know the fa la 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 cared about rodent matters. This is bigger than Rodenia. A mouse attacking a fa la 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 is an absurdity. But a mouse seeking to kill a god that violates the laws of the old ways itself. I didn't know for cared about the old ways either. The first time I played this game, I resolved to say every time they put that word in there, I had to say it longer because they, it's such a weird word for them to use there. Every animal follows the old way. The old laws of red and blood and bone. You think they could be discarded so easily? Tossed aside because your whims demand it. Absurdity of absurdities. They also like the word absurdity. FF14 would like to talk to this cat about killing gods. There's one truth and it is this. We're all bound by our nature. You son of a bitch. Really? If nature stands in my way, then I will slay nature itself. I gotta take a drink after doing that voice. That, that hurt. And remember the rules, when I take a drink, everybody takes a drink. Absurd. Tag a claw. What will you do when you've conquered nature? Reign as the god mouth king of nothingness. Wretched thing, you disgust me. Wait, I killed him in one hit? Okay. <laughs> okay. Sarvan! Are you okay? Yeah, of course. What was that all about? Nothing important. There's just a dead fucking cat on the floor of this kitchen. So these, this family's gonna come home and their cat is gonna have been brutally murdered with knife wounds. <laughs> it's just like laying there bleeding on the tile. It's fine. I'm too lazy to reach for my drink. Scoots it away from you? Oh. So that's it. That's we. I killed the rat in a single turn of action. Okay. See, that seems so easy, and yet the other fight, which understandably should be hard, like, I don't have a chance, because I'm, kill I'm barely able to kill... The first time I did that god fight, I killed one of the hands, and then died. And every other time since, I haven't even been able to get the one of the hands to half power. So I'm just a little... I'm a little confused as to what is going on. The final strike of a multi-strike attack hits twice as hard. Like, how am I supposed to get all this stuff? That's insane. What? I'm missing a lot of something. Because there's no way in the world I should be able... Well, I guess you have to choose. Maybe you can't fill it out entirely. But I don't know. Is there a new game plus? That'd be... There's not enough of this game for me to want to play it and make it really easy. You know what I mean? Like, some games, like a Final Fantasy game or something like that. Was there anything to loot past the cat? Or did you remember, did you not even get that option? No, there wasn't an option to loot it. Like, it disappeared. Oh, well, this is new. Hey, jingle jingle. You found a Faleta de Kala. Huh, I wonder who this belongs to. Oh, good call. Yeah, take it to the other cat. I'm just going to sneak into the room and kill them. To kill the people in the house. They were brutally murdered. It looks like with a pocket knife and a scalpel. How horrifying would that be? What a way to go. So we got 
her upgraded. We've got... The squirrel didn't appear to have really any... Maybe if I go back to his old tree. All aboard! So I guess that other cat lived in his... Lived in that house? They lived together? There was a Love, Death, and Robots episode about robots fight... Rats fighting a robot. I wish I could be fighting a robot. Vendum! Mind the gap. I really, really want to play fucking Helldivers, but it's just so hard to get into it. Because the more people can't play it, the more people want to play it. And I think a lot of people now are putting it on in the background, just letting it load. So then there's all these people just sitting in queue, and I'm pretty sure they don't have a you're inactive and timed out like WoW does, like, you know, a lot of MMOs do. Um, and somebody posted something very poignant. Is like the last Helldiver game had a 10,000 people playing it at most. And so it's like, there's no way they could have expected 500,000 people more than that wanting to play their game. So they like, you know, 10,000, I will make it able to support 400,000 people. And it's like, what do you want, Mouse? Just wondering. I found your collar. I don't recall asking for it. Oh, well, here you go. Fuck off, you bitch. This is clearly not my collar. <laughs> I just found a collar and there you go. Well, exactly. It's like if they had put it on the Xbox, there'd be millions of people wanting to play it. And so it reeks of an unearned sense of pride. And the size is far too big for me. <laughs> I don't know what you were thinking, Vern. That's obviously not. That's obviously Tiger's collar. Tiger? That moron of a tabby from the north? <laughs> the image of that buffoon moping over his lost collar. Well, he's actually dead. Well, Mouse, if you were trying to inspire nostalgia in me, then you failed. But you succeeded in entertaining me. Now to give you something for your troubles. Here, take the bell from the collar. You might have a use for it. You received a tiger bell. Stay safe, travelers. So what is... What does the bell do? Jingle Jingle grants a bonus turn. Holy crap. That's kind of nice. But it just stinks is because Sahababan is basically... It's like a, she's a wasted slot right now. And I don't know why that is. I don't know why I feel like that. Because she doesn't... She should do a ton of damage, but she just doesn't. And I don't, I don't know what I'm doing wrong with her. I love how these games crush AAA games so easily. Yes, uh, definitely. I just find that funny. And I think, well, I know that it won't send a message. I know that there are people talking about it in boardrooms. Like this, you know, this $30 game is kicking the ass of a $60 and $70 games and Modern Warfare. Like, I haven't played... The last time I played Call of Duty was with you guys, and that's been months, 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 months ago. Um, so I haven't played, like, the second season. I haven't, And it's just... It, I had no interest in it. And part of the reason that I have no interest in it is that I'm very terrible with my money. I've always been terrible with my money. Um, you know, I don't ask for money here. I don't get money here. Um, that was never the point of me streaming. But... Um, you know, a game like Call of Duty, it's like, oh, there's a Ninja Turtle skin. You could play as a Ninja Turtle. Oh, I have to have that. There's a turtle that, or you're, you can have a gun that's a dragon. Well, I gotta have that. And so it's just this cash grab. So this, you know, $70 game that I buy, I've ended up spending $600 in. And it's like, there's so many better things I could do with that money. And yeah, let's try going to the uh, burned out tree. Let's see what happens over there. And then something like Helldivers comes along, and yeah, it's got some DLC. Um, but it's not, like, shameless kind of cash grabs. Like, Nicki Minaj. A Nicki Minaj skin in Call of Duty is, like... You know, because I'm sure she's getting half of that money. You know, and it's... Just, but, I don't know. Something like... 
Hell Divers 2, even though, and admittedly, I, w I can't play it. I can't, like, if I booted it up right now on stream, we'd be sitting here for an hour just talking. Um, but, you know, there's just something to be said about a fun game where you can play with your friends or with others, and you just, you just have a good time with it, and you just do stupid things and kill robots. Um, I like PvP. I like PVE games. I don't like PvP games anymore because I'm not old and I'm too old. You know, I don't have an 18-year-old's reflexes or eyes, and it's just not as much fun to me. Like Ink and Yamba loves to play Overwatch, and I'm so tired of it because the only people who still play Overwatch are people who are good at Overwatch. Yes, it's free, but nobody—they're not doing anything that demands people to come play Overwatch. Like, hey, we. You know, everybody who plays Overwatch gets a 10 bucks. You know, they're not doing anything that brings new people in. So the only people playing it, it's like old Modern Warfare. If you wanted to go back and play Modern Warfare 2, the only people still playing Modern Warfare 2 are the crazy people who are really good at it. You know, there's not new people going back to play them. And so it's... Oh, man. No, there's nothing here. Okay. So I just get frustrated when I'm being just brutally murdered by these people who obviously play it a lot. And, you know, that's what I did on several Call of Duties is when I first started getting sick, I would be at home with nothing to do. So I'd just play Modern Warfare all day. And so like two or three weeks into the game, I had like the highest level because I played it eight, ten hours a day. I didn't have anything else to do. And people would be like, oh my god, get a life, look at you, lol. And, you know, it's those type of people who play it all day, every day, who love the game, who enjoy it. And then when somebody like me, who plays it two hours a week, maybe, comes on, we just get raffle stomped. And I know that's what, you know, the casual and the pro divisions are supposed to be for, but they never seem to work out that way. And it's like... You know, at the end of the day, I want to be... I enjoy games where I feel like a god. You know, because real life sucks, and I could feel underpowered in real life. And I know a lot of people feel that way. You know, I can go outside and be worthless and be ineffective. Um, whereas in a video game, I enjoy the feeling of being able to do anything, which is part of why I loved Terminator. Uh, or not Terminator, I'm sorry, Robocop. Because... The whole, from the very, from the word go, you're a tank, you're a god, and these little people really don't provide much of a, a challenge to you. It's through the weight of those, you know, dozens and dozens of individual bad guys that they can hurt you. Um, but I love that feeling. So when I go into a PvP game and I should win this interaction, it's me versus somebody who's weak against me and I just get smashed. It's very frustrating. Okay. Okay. So now I have to go, the only thing I can think of is the white god, and I'm so woefully unprepared for that. Clearly. Because Mirabelle's den, I've already done that. There's The only thing to do in America is this, well, maybe I'll poke around America. Could have gone pro at Rainbow Six, but I got bored with it. And see, that's the thing, is I get there's people who are so good at something they get bored with it. And that used to be me with uh, yo, you okay there, bud? Yo, you, you alright? He's, 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 he's having, he's, 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 he doesn't like that flight. He was a little rattled by the flight. That was pretty funny. Like, cause they set up almost like there's going to be a whole bunch of fights in here. I was asked to go pro at TF2 at one point, but I would have sucked all the enjoyment out of the game for me. Exactly. Um, like, I consider myself in Team Fortress, I consider myself a medium-level medic. Like, I enjoy being medic. I love... I love... I've always loved healing. Um, but it's one of those things where, you know, you do it all the time, and it just really sucks the fun out of it. So now all I do is I have one server I go to. I go to a Skyle 24-hour two-fort server. And just hang around in that. I don't have to worry about bots. I don't worry about, you know, not doing well, because it doesn't matter. And I have so much fun with that. Like, when I need to just unwind, I'll go pyro and defend fucking um, engineers. I'll just be a pyro for hours. And it, you know, just, yeah, I live an issue. It stinks, but the rent's a bargain. 
I got a mushroom. Bon appetit. How is this America? I don't even see the exploitative insurance market. You lost me. Technically, this game is in Britain, so it's not. The Riddler! This door is locked tight. What's behind the door? It's a secret. Okay, now's the time to give me the secret. The Meta Mouse, and this is my Meta House. I've already asked all these. I'm sorry, this is America. I'm sorry, this is America. Dad's working late again. But I mean, there's clearly got to be something I'm missing here. I keep telling people this isn't a library, and yet people come in just stand around and read our books. I come here just to smell the books. Mm, I love that new book scent. I do. I like new book scent. New book scent is good. Like a Barnes and Noble, there's nothing quite like that smell. I've already talked to all these people. Did you say you came from overseas? That's right. By a mangrove by the sea. America's a good city. I keep calling it America just because, again, I couldn't pronounce things. And I mispronounced them when I started playing, so this became America. It's a great city, perhaps, but it's not my home. Here. I always stand out by my dish dasha in my gutra. The guard don't have questions for me, little mice. But not you! I didn't do anything. In both cooking and interactions, it is the small choices that make a difference. If you ever become by Alfar, I will show you around personally. Well, I appreciate that. Thanks. Pea prices are up. Corn and beans, too. It's rough, but I've got my own bills to pay. Here's the hobby. King James assembles. <laughs> He's single, right? The only room I can think of that I haven't gone in is the spider room, and it literally made me sick. Like, because I have arachnophobia very badly. And with my brain... What? Oh, ho, you brought it! But tell me. Did you peek? No. So dependable. I don't even know what I... did. How many tasks are there? I've got important things to do, you know. Trivial worries. On to the second task. There's a weaver and gutter's annual in the same packet by the condor delivered to him to pay his payment. Okay. Well, I guess I'll do this because I need experience, so. And it delays me from going into the spider room. It's caudal. That's the kids' room, isn't it? Yep. I don't remember it's the kids' room until I go in. It should be very easy not to... I think I'm supposed to give you this. Oh, oh yeah. I ordered this. The mad merchant can get his paws on anything. Red tape be damned. What's exactly in the box? You're better off not knowing. Anyway. There's a, there's the small matter of payment. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, uh... I, uh... Oh, as a barzato, a lot of seeds for this, but I haven't got much on hand. I could offer him some of my best silk and sten. I doubt it. Doubt it. Wanted seeds, not clawed. Oh, well, it's all I got. I'll pass it on to him and see what he says. Thanks for the delivery. This Amazon Prime box, yeah. I'd for, I guess I didn't save after I did that quest, because I know I've done it. I'm going to save now. Because there's a lot of fights that were set up that didn't end up being a thing. Maybe there'll be like that big rat with the gavel, the big huge hammer. Oh ho ho, you did it! I did, and I got a reward. A sheet of fine silk. Ooh, the major zoom. The major zoom in. That was not the agreed upon payment. But whom's am I to deny such fine luxury? Here's your paycheck as promised. Ready for task three? As if I have a choice. There's a lady by the name of Matilda who lives in a douche of Sky Garden. She has an eye for fine fabric. 
I'd like to ask her to dye this silk a nice shade in crimson, perhaps. Okay, what kind of creature is she? Why, she's a... You know, I have absolutely no idea. Fine, Matilda of Sky Garden, right? Uh, give me some time. Okay. So I'm gonna need you guys' help, because I'm... This this is legit gonna, like, do bad things to me. So I, I already completed a quest for this guy, barely. Okay, so I can't look at that monitor. I can't look at that. I have to... I'm not looking at... What does he say? Offer the spider another insect part. Okay, you have no insect parts to offer. The spider-sized eject league. Okay, good. Huh. That wasn't bad. I did it without looking at it. Awesome. Unfortunately, with my illness, my brain is being affected. And as an example, if I see a spider in the house for real life, it will trigger me. So I get, I get nauseous, I don't like it, it makes me think bad things. But then the other trouble is that for the next significant amount of time, say two weeks, my brain will be like, oh, there's going to be a spider underneath your towel. Or when you pick up that glass, there's a spider in that glass. So for the next two weeks, my brain is like obsessed with that image of something of that spider. So not only is it arachnophobia then, it's arachnophobia for the next bit of time. And uh, so it's not great. But luckily, eventually, I won't care because I will remember. So that's the good news. It's also bad news. It's like kind of a good bad news kind of thing. It's kind of funny that I started streaming knowing that I wouldn't be able, eventually I wouldn't be able to stream at all, but it's just one of those things. Think of all the friends I made along the way. Here we go in the pipe. Hopefully it won't freak out on us again. Do, 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 do. So now I got to go to the tree place. I got to find this bitch to do... Sorry, I don't know much that much about basketball. Then why did you... Never mind. Sorry, somebody texted me on my phone. It's kind of funny because somebody sent me a meme and then didn't know what the meme was. They're like, haha, this is so funny. And I'm like, I say something. I'm like, hey, Kobe. Remember when that was going around? No, you don't. You're all young. But, uh, and they're like, Kobe, what's that? Like the beef? And I'm like, ugh. No. Why do I run so much faster than everybody? Okay, so now I gotta find this new person. There's only one person, but he asked for no visitors. Who is the prisoner? Captain Aiden. You fought him. He's the top prison guard, remember? The lanky dweeb with the sentinel. <laughs> Hold on, that doesn't add up. I heard you kicked all the soldiers out of Sky Garden. We gave them each a choice, reform or exile. Aiden refused both options, so he put us a bit in a quandary. Gwen suggested attaching him to a magic missile and firing him at the sun like old Command Murray Cloudrunner. That's amazing. The magic missiles were fireworks, by the way. But I said, nah, if he wants to stay in Sky Garden so badly, he laid him. So now he's the sole dungeon regiment. This nay bother, we feed him properly at all. I hate it. Dungeons are grotesque. We shouldn't even use the meme for the scummiest of Kashkirin. Imprisoning Maiden is bad, but launching him into the sun is okay? It contain multitudes. <laughs> well, in any case, here's the key. Really want to have a word with him? I want to kill him. Why would I want to go have a word with him? <laughs> Beats me. It wouldn't be a good use of your time. <laughs> There's no, like, secret items or down anything down there. But hey, the option's there. Wow, that's not foreshadowing. Yeah, there's no secret down there, no. There totally is secret stuff down here. And they know by saying there's no secret stuff down here, there's going to be secret stuff. Uh, the Rex. That was so funny. How he has the he had a fucking robotic dog. Ugh, that was so funny. One of those toy robot dogs as the super weapon. Ugh. This game is so cool. This game is so good. But yes, everybody should buy this game. If you have 15 bucks, 20 bucks to spare, and you don't know what to play, you should play this. Even though you watch me play it, just to support them for sure, so. And I love the Bratz doll as a fucking <laughs> safe station.
It's one of the Gads. <gasps> it's a pale. We renamed Pale after the uh, the Rat Lady. Not the Rat Lady. I don't even remember what she is. But because she's pale and she's cute and adorable and everybody should love her and she's also going to carve your face off. Yeah. None of this stuff. You, we've already touched this stuff. Contraband food and alcohol. Somebody's already raided the good stuff. Yeah, for sure. If nothing else, uh, that's why like I bought the Helldivers upgrade. Simply because I want to support them. Like I, people are like, oh, it's Sony. They should have done better. Blah, blah, blah. But then I just want to support a game. I have no problem with that. Ooh, bunny. Oh, yeah, that's a safe spot. My, oh, my. There's a familiar face, albeit with a few more scars. Yes, I remember our fight. I remember you. You were the de facto leader of the group that sparked the coup. You are, in effect, the root cause of why I'm rotting down here. So why are you here? To talk? To mock you? No reason. Eh, I don't want to be mean. And uh, just so you guys know, I almost downloaded the Mass Effect uh, to replay it. But it was like 110 gigabytes. And I'm like, mm, maybe not. So I may save that for when I get a new computer. You can just open the master lock with another master lock. Wait, what? You can open a master lock with a master lock? I heard you were offered exile and reform, but you refused both options. I wanted to know why. You know, I'm not like the other members of Clan Grey. Many of the rubber boots saluted the wayward star out of a sense of communal duty. Others became soldiers for the seed. They had rent and bills to pay. In any case, their loyalties were fickle. They were quick to abandon the cause upon defeat. But I'm a true patriot. I refuse the new management options because I actually believe in my values. <laughs> your values suck. <laughs> I've seen Duke Josh's Sky Garden. Your values suck. There's nothing but tyranny and fancy flags and trumpets. And what? You've done away with tyranny now? You and your comrades out as the corrupt Duke and now Sky, and Sky Garden is a wholesome and egalitarian paradise. I mean, kind of, yeah. Idiot, you just replaced one brand of tyranny with another. A grey duke for a red lord, old laws for new lords, violence for violence. Well, he's not wrong. I'd wager you even replace the wayward star banners with garish rainbow ones. Oh, he's a homophobe. Your troop lacks any self-awareness. Ah, you got it wrong. From what I've seen, things are actually different. Rodents are actually free to walk around and be themselves without worrying about being arrested. Empty words to a squirrel in chains. I could kill you. Don't pretend it's the same thing. You're not being in prison for being yourself. And besides, Bruce isn't a lord. He's an ambassador. Ambassador? Historically, a fine starting point for becoming a dictator. It's really not like that. Well, if not Bruce, then who is said on becoming Scar Garding's ruling lord? Do you know? Nobody, as I understand it. The rodents of Sky Garden rule themselves. Gods, that's the most dangerous possible outcome. How so? A society without a leader isn't free from tyranny. It's just vulnerable to a different sort of tyranny. Leaderless tyranny. The worst kind. I don't get it. Okay, I'll break it down. So all societies have a natural hierarchy. You see it in any group. Individuals naturally shine over the others. Like me? No, not really. I don't shine over anybody. Mostly because I'm like plate. And I mean, I guess, you know, Pale sometimes wants to like wax it up. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to be shiny. I let her do it once. And when I like laid on the bed, I like ski and went right off because I was... Never mind. Never mind. We'll, we'll get back... Who shines the brightest, the strong, the smart, the privileged? Those are the rodents who wield power. They get to write the rules. They make the important decisions, like choosing who's in or who's out. But if there's no formally recognized leader, then the, the lack of leadership becomes a mask. The ones who shine brightest still get to write the rules, but the writing goes unseen. No, no, please continue. <laughs> I... Yep. 
How can you hold them to account? You can behead a mad king, but you can't behead a mouse. Mad, shapeless mob. Oops, I pushed the wrong button. Like I said, the worst kind of tyranny. So the only alternative is an iron paw, you say? It's an iron paw either way. Such is our nature. It's just a question of who you want the paw to be visible and knowable or unseen and unaccountable. Well, he's not wrong. I hate that he's not wrong. They put a lot of zingers in this game. And a question of whether the iron paw is on your side. Well, of course, I never denied looking out for my own interests. I don't think an iron paw is inevitable. <laughs> Read a history book. When rodents are weak, they are dominated by the strong, always. Can you not see the bigger picture? Rigid structure is necessary to keep the lack of structure from becoming a cage. I wish Shahababan had come in here with me. <laughs> That's so funny. They'd have something intelligent to say. And Gwen's got a great mind for politics, too. But I'm bad with wordy stuff. I just focus on swinging my sword. Just focus on swinging my tail. Speaking of tail, I think it's been long enough. I think that redeem has been redeemed enough. Well, maybe you should think a little harder. If you always sharpen your sword and never your whip, then you'll always get taken advantage of. I haven't been taken advantage of this entire game. What are you talking about? All right, hold on. Okay. Here's what I think. You're twat. <laughs> <laughs> How is that not the best option? Oh god. Oh god, how? You're a twat. <laughs> oh god, it's perfect, beautiful, and an amazing, amazing op option. You're a twat. Charming. Is that it? Your whole response? That's it. I'm sure if I say the wrong thing here, I I either have to fight him or I don't fight him. But, like, I'm not going to look up. <laughs> That's it. I could spend the rest of the day explaining why you're a twat, but it would be a waste of both of our times. You don't see compassion for others as a good thing. There's no helping a person like that. Well, you're right about a waste of time. My devotion to the Iron Star is ironclad. And you look as stubborn as they come. So this conversation was a pointless endeavor from the start. Fine. Go. Get out. Can I talk to him again? Our talk is done. Let me be. Guess not. The remains of a sublime and that's a, an ensuite bathroom. Very fancy. A god-made shackle. It looks not unbreakable. I have the keys for it. Yeah, so I guess I blew that, so I'm sure I won't get any whatever I was supposed to get if I said the right thing. But that's kind of how I would have approached that conversation anyway. You know, it's like if somebody's trying to engage me, and Inka Yamba is a good example of this. They're, they're very smart, and they love debating things like that. But I took enough schooling to realize when I'm in a debate with somebody who I have no business debating... And I tell them straight up, it's like, I'm, if you want to debate, let's say religion, let's talk about religion. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not doing that because I'm just going to make a fool of myself. And then you're going to, you know, I want, there's not going to be a debate. I'm basically just going to be, I'm going to lose. So that's probably how I still would have explained myself in that situation. It's like, you're a twat. You're wrong. You don't like people. Goodbye. So I may have just blown a super weapon or something, not because I did the conversation wrong, but oh well. Oh well. Yeah, this looks like the tie-dye person. It's like a breath of fresh air. Do, 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 do. Nope, it's Batty. My name is Batty. Oh, I haven't been in here before, have I? Oh yeah, I did. Only the top brass know the deets. My theory is a giant felidae they keep cleaned up. It is not that. 
But yeah, like about the lady who stabbed me in the eye. I mean, there's so many things that... Yeah, where did the table go? We found the map in stores. We roll it out for meetings and like. It doubles up as a stage, which is pretty rad. <laughs> Get our live! On that note, I need to have a word with Bruce. Go for it! What's up, baby? Your flute playing. It's getting a bit... Ah, uh, what's the word? How to say it. Bad. Whoa! <laughs> what?! That playing is as tuneful as ever. I sound like a nightingale in the morning light. <laughs> ah, more like a sparrow choking on a cigarette butt. <laughs> oh my god! Wow. That's a bit harsh, but um, it's true that your high notes can be a bit shrill. Come to think of it, in my time here, I've literally never heard you practice. It's like you enjoy having the image of a musician, but you don't want to put it in the work to be one. I feel a wheel beat attacked here. <laughs> it's okay, Lapa. You just need to do a little practicing. Get your groove back. Is that actually how you spell groove with that many O's? Why not go speak to Tim, the trumpeter? He's friendly. He'll be happy to give you lessons. Ugh, fine. I hate to admit it, but you're all right. I'll go find Tim. I hope I don't have to fight Tim. I have to fight him musically. I recognize you. You're the trombone guy. Bruce was looking for you. I'll go fetch him. It's actually a Baroque trumpet. That's the most band nerdy thing I've ever heard. I see, so you need to freshen up your music skills. And Anton thought I could give you some pointers. Aye, that's right. Let's skip the music theory and go straight into practice. No better way to learn to swim than by leaping in the deep end, right? Unless you drown. Ah, well, nonetheless. How about we play Gilded Royd's Melody? You know that one. Yeah, of course, it's a classic. Rad. I'll grade your performance just like a grade school exam. Ha ha. No pressure, then. Nah, it's not so serious. You can always try again. Are you ready to play now? Aye, let's go. All right, all right. And a one, and a two, and a... All right, push buttons. This is a really good song already. Given me a left yet, and I'm waiting for it. Four ups in a row. Hey, we did it! And he didn't pass out this time. Bruce, my man, that was flawless. A plus, no, A plus plus plus, S rank, S rank. It was good. You serious? You should be teaching me. Have some confidence in yourself. I don't know. I just feel like there's more work to do. Hmm. How about you rock out with Violet the Screeching Creature? Violet the Shrieking Creature. I don't... I don't... Um, I'm uh I'm not I'm not a fan of that name because in this in this game that probably means like literally a screech owl that's gonna try to eat me. Oh, the punky bat with a guitar. I didn't even thought our styles of music are a match. Ah <laughs> yeah, she's got an edge, no doubt about that. You know, after Josh was outed, she refused to talk to me or any of the gray schools actually, and I don't blame her. Josh's regime was messed up. But once I broke out my trumpet, things chilled a bit. It's not like a few notes magically undid all the wrongs or anything, but, like, there's a common language in music. It transcends genre and style. It speaks straight to the heart. Is that too cliché? 
No, I get it. A common language. Thanks, team. A musical bat. I love those in games. Well, I've already sat there and listened to them play a little bit already, but... I really like their design. No, I'm gonna save. I haven't done it in a while, and I don't want to have to go through all that again. Nope. There we go. Hey, is Buddhist around? Send him in. I want a word. I heard you and Mr. Tuba tooting away upstairs. Mr. Tuba? Hi, yeah. Tim, he was helping me practice. I see. I know he worked for the Duke and all, but I think he's a good guy. Hmm. He said my music transcends language, and I think he's got a point there. Hmm. Something up. Tim and the others are trying. I can see that. But it's like they want to play music and dance and pretend that everything's hunky-dory. It's never that simple. Clan Gray's got work to do. Still, he's right that there's something primal about music. Raw emotion and sound form. That's powerful stuff. So on that note, yeah, you want to jam? Aye, that'd be great. Need to shake this rust off. No shame in a bit of rust. Sometimes you gotta step away from your instrument a bit to clear your head. But sometimes you gotta face the music and smash through whatever barrier's holding you back. Makes sense, Tammy? Let's play. Follow my lead. Oh no, it's doom music. That bat is really cute. She's a hottie. This is a really good song. Hey, I left. Finally, I left. God, their fingers have got to be sore. Yeah, right? Turn my pencil into a flute. Oh, he's got the riffle in there. It's actually really good. I'm, oh, I pushed the wrong button. I was too paying attention. I was looking at chat. Oh, and it was one of the last notes, too. Ah. Pretty damn metal. You gave it your all, didn't you? Ha, yeah, I did. Shall we play one more? Ah, no need. You sound like an absolute pro. Actually, you know what? You should go back up to... Uh, what? A performance for Anton. Why does that sound so scary? Ha, huh, don't sweat it. They'll be impressed with the improvements. I've got no doot. I have them given them the same voice. Fuck it. I don't care anymore. Here we go. He's gonna get the super flute. Hey, guess what, baby? I've been practicing. I got my groove box. Oh, show me. On the stage, we'll make a proper concert out of it. Let's go. Wait a minute. We're standing on the map. Hi, all. This is, this is my tribute band. It's a ska, heavy metal. Well, we don't really, we don't like, we don't like to give ourselves names, but I think the Hunky Dories is a great name for us. <laughs> Thanks for coming to our concert. Boo, you guys suck. <laughs> Bring out the main act already. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! You guys suck! Bring out the main act already! <laughs> That's the most her thing that they could have ever done. She's fucking booing him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, it hurts. Oh god, that's uh... a... <laughs> Quinn, we are the only act. Boo! <laughs> Oh. Oh, my lord. Oh, man. <laughs> we don't have a set list. Does anyone have requests? <laughs> Mouse Arts, Blossom, Minuet, and C Major. What the fuck are you doing, Sabababan? Raise your bloody claws to the dying sky by pestilent rage. 
Needle Knight. You all have terrible tastes in music, and I regret asking. <laughs> what about what if we play a rat tailed rover for old time's sake? Oh, that's the song I really like from the bar. I haven't heard that one since well. We fell in love. It's a perfect choice. Let's go, Lapa. Needle Knight has to be a Hollow Knight reference. Uh, I don't know because I've never played Hollow Knight, but Needle Knight is like one of the best swordsmen in this universe. Here we go. Here we go. We got this. Oh crap, they're fast. Oh crap, they're fast. Before they've been slow. But it makes sense, I'm playing with my boyfriend. I really like this song. Oh, don't do this to me. I'm so bad at rhythm games, you guys have no idea. But I really like that song. Holy shit! <laughs> Lapa. Did... Did I mess up? No. It was perfect. It was beautiful. With flute skills like that, you could play anything you set your mind to. Bing! Leveled up. Bruce learned Cadenza. Cadenza works a little differently than most battle skills. Its effect varies on depending on which notes are played. Oh, shit. Great. Wait, what's this? Does someone leave with this up here on the stage? The Sky Piccolo. Where did this come from? What a wonderful instrument. Someone must have been amazed by your music and left it as a gift for you. Or maybe my heavenly playing summed it from the heavens. Hmm. Well, that's cool. Throw away this ratty Arcarina. Oh, Jesus. That's quite the upgrade. I just don't think it's worth losing an energy pip for anything. What I don't get is the if it's literally negative five defense, like I go from six to negative five defense. Because when everything else goes down, it doesn't have a negative. So is that meaning it's going down to negative five? Because I did have that on the rat guy, and it did, you do do a lot of damage, but when you get hit, it's just like a ton of bricks. I'm just, I'm amazed I'm not. I haven't replaced her. I'm sure that when you kill the Hollow God, you get like his super scalpel or something, but. I don't know. Like, I'm still using her shitty fire wand, and it's. I know I'm missing something. Healing melodies. Okay, that'll help during the boss fight for sure. So at least everybody's remotely the same level now. Okay, so I still gotta find the bitch with the... No, oh, that's not the die guy. Guess what? No more mining pledges. I still have to go to school. No. I don't suppose you're Matilda. Why, yes, I am. Wait, let me guess. That pesky Abizado roped you into running his errands. <laughs> yes, you're not the first. Well, go on. What did he saddle you with? He wanted you to dice some cloth. Gosh golly, is that all? He sent you all the way here for a tiny square of fabric? That's good silk, though. Great A+, plus, even. No denying that. What color did he ask for? Red. What shade specifically? Cinnabar, crimson, maroon, scarlet, or red? He did say crimson, but I kind of want to say scarlet. 
Sounds good. I'll bet. Look at it split. Skadoosh. Ta-da! Yep, that's some shade of red, all right. <laughs> Go tell Mr. Habazato that if he keeps this up this nonsense, the guard's gonna come a-knocking. You hear? Is he doing something illegal? Gosh, golly, you have no idea. Run along now. Well, okay. Peace out, y'all, I guess. So we got a magical flute from a boy. He does 30% more healing now. He has d almost double the amount of attack that he did. But I don't think his healing, this, just that healing upgrade is going to be enough to kill the god. Because I'm just not doing enough damage to it. Because that's the problem, is that he just, I start bleeding... And then he grabs somebody. I think I'm going to have to kill the other hand first. I think I was on the money when I said that the scalpel hand is a distraction. Because I can't stand the loss of one person. Unless it's the magic lady. This hurt? Yeah, he doesn't like that flight, I'm telling you. Because the grabber hand is the one that puts me out of action. The bleed is annoying. But I think now that he has the, his super heal, I think that we can... I think that we can out, out heal it. As long as he basically just defends every round. Nice to sit and watch the stream after having a terrible day. Well, I'm sorry you had a terrible day, darling. For those of you who don't know, Pale is amazing and an artist, and you should go, like, commission the shit out of them because they're great. And they know a lot about dinosaurs. My, my apprentice, where have you been? I was busy and Sky Garden's not exactly around the corner. True enough, pardon my impatience. Time has become my enemy. The guard grows suspicious of my dealings. Did you meet with Matilda? Yeah. Wonderful, I can see from here the fabric's a beautiful, vibrant red. How did she rate it? A plus. She really laid on the praise. Excellent. That Connor truly is a master weaver. Here's your paycheck as promised. Take this fabric to Vinum. Vinum sees his name. Carolina owes me a favor. Ask her to fasten into whatever garment she sees fit. Okay. They really do have me running all over for this quest. It better be a uh, heck of a reward. A heck of a reward, I tell ya. I'm trying to see what time it is. 9, 12. So maybe some of the kids are now off the off of Helldivers. I know they're probably not. Because many people are getting off of work and now, you know, everything's done. The kids are going to bed, so they're going to get on Helldivers. But... Blade, what's up? How you doing? We are currently being small and killing the things. But how are you doing? Oh, Vinum, that way. I like his little, like, hat. Okay, so now we gotta give this to somebody who's doing the thing. It's Nala Town. Until then, Carpe Diem, or is it Carpe Vinum? <laughs> I love how nobody knows what the Latin is. It's just brilliant. It's impossible to get into Helldivers because people log on the first thing in the morning and don't log off until the end of the day, or people just don't log off. Yeah, I get that. Good fight, man. Instagram. I'm playing as a Muskwolf gimmick. That was such a cool fight. Quintus is changing, maybe for the better. We used to grow grapes here centuries ago. But the god building spread higher and further, and now the land is good for nothing but mushrooms. Still, even a rose can grow through concrete, so a wise bard once said. <gasps> Shaolin! What is up? How are you? Kitty! Pet kitty. What do you want? I'm just nothing. Ah, 
Mushrooms! Mushrooms for sale! I feel like the Helldiver servers need to have a timeout period. Yeah, and I think that would help. Because, like I said, I think a lot of people will just, like, turn it on in the background. And wait just so they can get in line. So there's probably a fair amount of people who are in line not actually sitting there ready to play. Wow, I don't even remember this lady. Hey, are you Penelope? The clothes are late. The clothes lady. The clothes lady? Oh yeah, she like destroyed my outfit. Sorry, what's the right word? Seamsmith? Clothmonger? Those are not words. I am a curator of bespoke high-end art couture faction. What is with these words, man? Come on. Okay, okay, look, this is outside of my area. I'm just going by what Abizado said. Ah, uh, Abizado found a new apprentice. Now the full garment comes together. Run and tell what an unprofessional slug brain that he must make his own orders in person. He told me you owed him a favor. Well, there is some truth to that. For all his brashness, the foolish merchant does reach out to those in need. What does he want? This fabric, it is exquisite. There's no denying that. What does he want? What does he want doing with it? What? Is that written correctly? Am I reading that right? What does he want doing with it? I mean, maybe she's like some stuck up bitch and that's just how people say that when they're a stuck up bitch. Uh, oh, except a couple games I play where you don't move out or interact that they boot you from the servers. Yeah. And then same thing, either way, it would be amazing. In, 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 what? Implation? Implation? And considering that there are hub worlds, the AFK timer should be connected. Yeah, I get it. They just probably never, like I said, uh, somebody originally, the original game had 10,000 people playing it. So they had no way of knowing that this many people were going to do it. So they probably didn't implement any of that stuff thinking, well, it's just extra money. We don't need to throw money at stuff we're never going to need. So Got on earlier and we going to lose the weak mission. Well, yeah, because no, nobody can play. Probably all the people I would, I would, again, I'm just throwing baseless guesses out there. But I would imagine people now, now that they've seen how hard it is to get into it, they don't quit at the end of the day. They just leave it running in the background. He said, turn it into clothes. What kind of clothes? What style? He didn't say. Well, that's no good. As his apprentice, you can be his mouthpiece. Give me some direction. I'll give you my mouth. I don't think that's a good idea. Ratman doesn't make clothes. He's gonna say turn it into the rat symbol. Trust me, it's fine. I can make even the ugliest idea into beautiful reality. That's like you guys. You guys turn my shit into beautiful things. It's only because of you guys is any of this worth anything. So thank you. Thank all of you, even the people watching in the future. I appreciate you. I'm feeling your futuristic good vibes coming back. Yep, this week's mission is the Annoying Faction to the Clankers. The game itself is great. It generates a lot of content. Now, what feeling are you trying to convey in this garden? Strength, elegance, or coolness? It's probably who's going to put, who's going to use this. I would love to hug that Krogan because he's so awesome and amazing. Oh, shut up. Shut up. More like, you're the one. You're just projecting. You're the one who's amazing and awesome. And you're like, oh, I'm going to project that. Coolness? Okay, we'll go with coolness. Coolness. Let's make it cool. You can't repeat the same thing. That's a valuable trait. Now, if it makes you feel cool, whether you are bravely to weather any situation. Not oh, my chair. You know, I bought a... Everybody knows that I bought a new chair. I loved it. It just didn't feel comfortable. But it was actually my spine breaking. Um, so I bought... I replaced it. And now I have a pretty, pretty crappy, pretty cheapy chair. It's not super cheap. It was, I think, like $300. But compared to the other chair that was like $1,000... But now I'm thinking of actually trying to replace this with an actual comfy chair. 
but I just uh, I'll link it to you guys in uh, maybe I'll link it right here I'll look it up give me a minute because like this chair had like everything let's see monster hunter like I don't even play monster hunter a lot like I played monster hunter stories and it was like this chair was so amazing and perfect now I have the tiny URL at tiny URL I promise I'm doing things sorry I'm just sitting here on screen guys tiny URL enter there short URL Boop. okay there we go. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the link and boop. No, I returned it. I returned it. I returned the chair. Uh, but this is the chair I bought and it's it looks so kick-ass. Now, true, it's red. That's the only thing I didn't like about it is the fact that it was red. Um, but when I sat on it, it was incredibly uncomfortable. Like, absurdly uncomfortable. The seat is hard to the seat was hard and it was everything about this chair the way they built it the way it was you know they had you construct it the way it felt the way it looked it even smelled good it's like everything about this is like uh, awesome it's just great and it was just uncomfortable to sit in and that's and i just went back and forth i'm like do i keep it i love everything about this chair other than the fact that it's uncomfortable. And somebody was finally like, you bought a car that doesn't drive well. You love everything about it except for it doesn't drive well. And that's kind of the point of the car. And so I returned it. It took a, it was hard to do, uh, but for they're a Singaporean company. Uh, so you can't just like call them because they're basically a front company. Like they're secret labs. They want you to buy the chair and stop. You're good. Uh, but anyway, so it was an expensive chair, and I'm like, well, I I'm going to be sitting here for most of my life, so do it. But anyway, uh, I love Monster Hunter. You bought threw away a thousand dollar chair. No, I'm not. And I couldn't. If I couldn't have returned it, I would have kept it. But Blade, you must really not know this man spends his money. That's that's unfair. I thought Krogans can sit on their tails. Well, they can, but sometimes you want to sit on something else. Come back in oh, 30 minutes or so. What, like real time or all time is real time? <laughs> that was some fourth, that was some metagaming right there. All time is real time. Busy working on comments, check back later. Really? I'd suggest something, someone, something to sit on? Yeah, yeah I bet you would. But yeah, so I thought, unfortunately, it's one of those things where had I known it was a, it wasn't part of the reason that it was so uncomfortable was because my tailbone was basically dying. Um, so the nerves were basically like lighting themselves on fire, um, which wasn't great. But um, so I think in retrospect, I probably would have kept it just because I loved everything about it. Like I've, I've said 10 times already. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, they did right by me, so they took it back. Uh, they tried everything they could to help. You know, they're like, well, science shows that sitting on hard surfaces is better for you. And I'm like, look, it's physically painful to sit in. I can't physically sit in it. And it wasn't the chair, to be fair. It was my health issues, but uh, at the same time, so the squeaky chair reminded me that I'm act I actually started looking for a another better replacement chair because the gaming chair that I got is blue. Um, but again, the trouble is uh, apparently gaming chairs were basically some comp car company bought too many chairs. Busy working on your garment. Come back later. Ugh, God, am I literally going to have to wait 30 minutes? Am I seriously going to have to do that? Look at something that's not gaming orthopedia. Well, that's that's what I was thinking. Is I'm going to get something that's not a gaming chair, 
Um, but of course, when you look, the first things I do is I search for chair and then blue. Uh, most of them are going to be gaming chairs, and this one's not much better. Um, and in the meantime, before I got this chair, I bought uh, from Purple one of their butt pillow things. Um, so basically, that was a hundred dollar. It's like a, a small pillow, but you sit on it, and it's their squishy stuff. But their pillow actually helped me help my uh, neck feel a lot better because I got one of their big pillows, and their pillows are like 20 pounds, which is hilarious. Yeah, basically. Um, but, you know, the way that I look at it is that I'm going to be sitting on this chair probably for many years, so for the price of it's not a big deal for me. Um, I've always looked at things in a mindset of, I'm going to keep this for a long time, and that's how I break down pricing. Like a car, you know, I'm going to be used, I tend to use cars until they literally fall to pieces. Like my current car is 20 years old, and, you know, I'm not going to go buy another car. So the fact that it was, you know, what, it's going to basically be costing me $1,000 a year for this car. Um, that's just kind of how I look at things, so... Oh wait, maybe I, should, I have to go tell him that it's gonna take forever. Let's just see what happens when I do that. Where are you? Why are you back? She's making something out of the fabric. Then go collect it! She said it would take 30 minutes. Then go wait faster! <laughs> yeah, isn't that how most management is? Go wait faster. <laughs> We're in the end times. I'm too tired for this. Well, see, that's the thing, is I'm not driving it much. You know, especially during COVID, it sat there for months at a time. And with me being sick, you know, I don't really use it much. So I drive it basically just enough to uh, keep it from bursting into flames from not driving it enough. It does track time. Shit. It tracks time through the save. Shit. Yeah, I think my car has like 95,000 miles on it, which for a 20-year-old car is not very bad. Uh, and of course I drive a Toyota Matrix because, you know, the Matrix. I really hope I don't have to sit here and wait for 30 minutes. Like, I mean, had I done this quest originally, that wouldn't be a problem. But now that there's very little to do in this game. Because I'm pretty sure once I start the end fight, I'm not going to be able to just leave the town. Because they already gave me the warning, like they do in most games. It's like, once this starts, you're not going to be able to do a lot. But anyway, so I was looking at, I don't remember, like an X chair, I think they're called. And of course, they're even more money. But you can have it, uh, it has like a little air conditioning unit on it, which I think is incredible. It has a little heater on it, you know, so if my back is hurting, I can turn on the little heater thing. If it's, you know, a normal floor today, I can, oh, sorry, my mouse is wet. I've been hiding my mouse behind me for this game, because you can't make the mouse just go away. Which is ironic, because it's a game about mice. Come on, be done. Oh, shit. Alright, so what time did I talk to her? Like, five minutes ago? God damn it. So what am I going to do in a game where there's nothing else to do for... I'd suggest you get something that is not leather like Yeah. Probably not a bad idea. I had, at Disney, we had these mesh chairs, and I think they were actually X chairs. Um, and as long... I found one that was really comfortable, and I basically just, like, kept it moving throughout the building with me. So for, like, five, five seven years, I had the same freaking chair, which everybody would like, you know, we'd move desks and stuff, so I have to basically put a threat to murder somebody on this chair on a piece of paper. I'm driving my old S404 Honda Civic until I've plowed in the side of an interstate barrier? Well, that's not good. Well, I'm glad you uh, only did that once. What am I going to do in this game for 30 minutes? My god. Because there's not a lot of quest stuff. I can't, I don't even have a map to look at, do I? Yeah, there's no map button. I don't even know what this button does. What does this button do in the middle of the... Nothing. Okay. <sighs> I had three other accidents back-to-back -back after that one. 
See, I don't know if I should make a joke about you being distracted, but uh, maybe that's why I don't let you in my car after that first time. Yeah, this is where yeah, I got the spooky helmet. So I've got a new knife, but she does the the magic bitch still doesn't have a new I gotta go back to I guess I'm gonna have to go back to her town and try to talk to her mama. And but it squeaks a lot when I use it, yeah. My original chair did that a lot. And the reason I got a new chair to begin with is because the back started falling, it kept going further back. The the little braces that help held the back on are basically just two screws. And they broke, so I'm loving this little guy. Thanks for luck. Whatever. So let's go see if I can fight her mom or something. The sender of Kambale? Let's go see what happens if I try to get in the throne room. You've been banished. I'm not going in. That would be bad for everyone. I fell asleep while driving. I didn't even register I'd wrecked until the friends who were on the call with me started screaming my name. Well, that's not great. I beat the Falala Day. Well, still Bubble Bomb and I did. Turns out his weakness was being set on fire. Ha! Ah! Hey! Fire! That's right, is it? Maybe you'll be a fine warrior yet. But the warrior's path is a perilous one. So be on your guard, lad. He's got a little bit of sword over here. It's a mouse sword. The blade is dull, but the floor a sink points to the pommel shines bright. Uh, your tail is kind of hypnotizing. Aww. Ironic for you, Shao. Being an adult, realizing that I bought Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, 2 by fine because I kept losing the disc. Yeah, basically. Um, I did that for Night at the Roxbury, uh, the CD. I wore out one CD. I got one stuck in another thing. Um... And then, like, over time, I've had to buy it again because, you know, iTunes, like, it's one of the songs that iTunes is like, oh, by the way, you don't really own this anymore. So it just, it drops out of my library, and then there it is. It's gone, and I'm like, hey, I want to listen to the song. It's not in my playlist. Oh. It's gotten real peaceful around here. Okay, so I can't go fight her mom. Can't fuck her mom. Already did everything in the house. I mean, I guess I'll have to go fight White God again. I'll just give that a try. But yeah, I know the I know having to buy things three, four, five times. And I've done that with Doom. I know that for sure. I know that for sure I've done it with Doom. I like how their, their flag's the biohazard symbol. That's appropriate. Like the first Doom? That's when I decided to say fuck it and buy it digitally. Yeah. Rihanna on runs free. Okay. So Doot Boy Doot's harder. He hits harder. I love how we come out of the toilet. No, Doom 1. Like, the first Doom. Like, yeah, 1991. No, I'm not very good at the new Dooms. I played them, and then I got frustrated, and I cheated so that I would do well. And that's fine. Because, you know, I'm not in it for the challenge. I love the game, and I love the music, and it was a lot of fun. But the fact that you have to change weapons so fast, my hands just can't keep up because I have very bad arthritic hands. 
And so I got to a point where like the hell divers or whatever, where, you know, they spawn and you have to switch like six weapons in a row to kill them. I just can't do it with my hands anymore. Force the button. A shiver runs through you. Your fur stands on end. I actually downloaded the other Doom. So maybe I'll, if I beat, if I can't beat this, I'm going to take, I'm going to take some time because it won't let me proceed anyway until 30 minutes goes by. But maybe we'll, we'll see if we can get Doom 2 working on here. Idiocy. Now look what you've done. Leave now quick before the White God comes and smites you all. No, not yet. I see what Verm is doing by dragging me back here. For all my talk of rebellion, I've avoided confronting the one who has hurt me the most. You want to confront the White God? Idiocy of idiocies. Don't throw your life away to spite a deity. This isn't spite. It's justice. You have to say justice like that now. It's justice. Main thing is to have fun. Cheating single player is fine. I'm, I'm, even if you got offended by it, I would still do it. But no, I don't. I don't cheat in anything that like I try not to cheat on stream except for Fallout a little bit. But that's just because I need money to buy the nine thousand different types of ammo I just modded into the game. But yeah. Um, God, this is so well done. This whole sequence is so well done. That's him. Uh, are you sure we should be doing this? I think we are. Brace yourselves. I just love how different they made it. Oh, it's that little mouse on the blade. It's not a nuclear symbol. Okay. For me, if there's too much like a bullet hell, I cannot for the life of me keep track of it long and frustrate it. Yeah, I get it. I definitely get that. Okay. So we're going to take... Well, we can't take our time, but we're going to go after the open hand first. Because I think the scalpel is a trick. Because with the open hand, he grabs you, and he crushes you, and he does slam. And I think that's too much to ignore. So we're going to blunt the scalp. Actually, I may not even blunt the scalp because all he does is bleed. He does stab you, yeah, but... Yeah, I'm going to shield break the other one. We're changing it up. I have a big headache at the last of Doom Eternal. I don't even remember it, if I'm honest. What does Cadenza do? Improvise to create a custom effect. This is probably not the place to do that. Because it costs three. This is not the place to do this. But I will on for our rat mode. Wow, is he? he has five pips now? Okay. Let's see if we can kill the big hand here. So 48 damage. Shield break on her, don't care. Click on him, good. But maybe it's a powerful effect, but I need him for healing. I have to have him for healing. And if I don't know what it does, I can play the wrong thing and doom myself. No pun intended. Alright. Clevave. Yeah, I'm sorry. If you stab me four times with a Swiss army knife, I'm, I'm gonna be defeated. It's like, my hand? No. She, so it takes two turns for her to do 24 damage, and that's unacceptable at this point. Oh, 41. So she did almost as much damage as he did in two turns, but she now I have to defend her for three turns or she won't do anything. I gotta go. Have a great stream, Mike. Thanks. Thanks for coming by, Shao. Thanks for hanging out, my friend. Cover one energy for each ally. I mean, that could do, that could work. But she's my big, she's my big damage. I need her to keep the thing damn fucking bleeding. You know what? We're just going for broke in this one. Because he's going to bleed me this turn. And then it's 
some damage. I'm gonna take a risk and just heal her. Which is kind of a waste of time, because again, she doesn't do much damage. Because see, now it's gonna take me at least four turns for her to do that 41 damage. And in four turns, I'll be dead. So it's almost like I shouldn't waste the heal juice on her. I just don't know, man. And well, man. She just doesn't do enough damage to be worth the heal juice. Yeah, I'm just gonna defend him. Fuck it. Yeah, so I'm gonna get bleeds. Oh, uh, God. So I'm going to get halfway damage on this open hand, just in time for me to uh, all die. Yeah, so she bled out. But again, it would have taken her four fucking turns to do anything, so it's not a big loss. All it is is I lose her healing items. She has two. He has one. He's gonna grab next turn. A sword break the other hand. So it does half damage. Sweetheart, I am. So everybody gets 10 health. Oh no, more than that. That's right. Ah, oh, shit. He's gonna grab. Don't grab. Okay, flicked. Good. He should have grabbed that turn. Verm's rage has subsided. Oh yeah, she has an extra thing. She has an extra attack. I've completely forgotten about it. Uh, I should have used that item. Because I have an item that makes him recover energy. be a waste to use it now. Crap, 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 crap. I shouldn't have done that. I should have defended so he'd have a... Tiger Bell. Well, I can use it on whoever I want. That's handy. This is not the time to use that. Oh, God, you know what? I'm gonna defend. So I attack one turn, I defend this turn, so I'll get an extra pip out of it. Excellent. And he only has enough... Oh, he doesn't have enough to heal everybody. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So he's definitely gonna grab. He's probably gonna bleed me again. Shield break. Well, that's not good. Don't grab. Shit. Burn cannot move. Flynn is bleeding. That's bad. That's bad, but at least I have enough... Oh, he has only 55 health to go. Bruce is bleeding, but I can't attack. I have to heal. Will the cadenza reach him? Nope, only these two. I just realized he's wearing a kilt, and he's jumping up and down. Okay, so Verm can't survive another hand round. So I have to I have to hurt it enough to get it to open. Bruce is bleeding. I have to hit. I have to walk it and hope. I have to whack it and hope. Oh, so close. Ooh. Oh, she did. Oh, she survived. The bleeding has stopped. Alright. He doesn't have enough juice to heal anybody. She doesn't have a heal item, though, so I have to use one of my heal items on her. No, the smart thing to do would be to give it to him so he can heal everybody. Haha, see? See, I'm tactical. Yeah, see? 
I said it before you said it, which makes me smart. And then she bled to death. So that, I didn't encounter, I didn't think of that. I may have just fucked myself. I may have just fucked myself. Because she just... I didn't think of the bleed. I should have given it to her. Left hand of God has succumbed to the bleeding. Yep, I would have been able to win this had I not just done that. Wow. Okay, Rajaje. The bleed now, unless he has some super duper attack... ...that I don't know about... Because if he has, like, some, oh my god, I'm the last hand attack back, then I'm in deep shit. What just happened? Why didn't he heal himself? Why didn't he heal himself? I did Encore instead of Sweet Tune. My fucking god, what have I done? Jesus Christ. I used the wrong song. Well, I already knew I was boned, but now I'm just slightly more boned. That's eight damage, four times, bleeding. I don't need to heal this round, so I'm gonna have him do his whack, because he's drunk. So if he hits, he'll do significant damage. 25 damage, that's pretty good for him. Sword break, so now he does less. Yeah, the bleedings are gonna get bad. Bleedings are gonna get bad. Yeah, so now I'm only doing six per strike. That's not great. I don't have enough for Cadenza. Ah, sweet Aria. The bleed is gonna kill him if he doesn't. But I gotta heal. I gotta heal the boy. So stupid decisions ended this one. Heal break, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, oh boy. Jesus, I have to do 200 damage with basically this guy. And I just ain't gonna do it. Bruce is sobered up. Oh my god, he's so close! Special Rob 10. That'll keep the bleed from killing him. Maybe not. Now that he has 14 of bleed damage, Jesus Christ. Okay. He's not doing that. King's Paw heals 50, recovers 3. I don't know what to do. I think I might be able to do it if I'm smart, but I'm not smart. That's the problem. I don't want to use that healing item. I'm going for it. I'm just going to defend. Bruce to come to the bleeding. Yep, I knew I couldn't count on that heal. Sword break. That's fine. See, now I use the King Paul. Get all my health back and the uh, pips. Heal break for two turns. So that means that he's going to kill me in two turns. But if I don't rage, I'm never having a chance. I'll heal two points per round. A lot of bleeding now. Gotta go for it. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do 158 damage. Oh, that's so frustrating. That one, that, well, two stupid things hurt me down. But I think it's smart to have gone after the other hand first. I think that's the better ploy, because once he grabs, he just squishes whatever it is to death. Alright, so we'll do it one more time. Uh, the fact that that bleeding got me. I should have healed her. Ugh, oh well. We got this. Push the button. Yes, see. Hey, now look what you've done. No, you only they can only hold two things. And you can't just go buy more healing items. You have to basically find them. 
It's justice. That's him. Alright, we'll try this one more time. I know what I need to do. I know what I should have done, so I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna use that double move bell on the on Verm so he can do twice the attack. So he'll attack three times that first round. So I'll rage him. You're gonna get your one angry blast out before you die. Shield break the hand so we do more damage to it. Yeah, the little rabbit just leaps up to the ceiling. He's good. He's just he's, he's real good. He jumps up. He's good. Now we encore Worm. That was really good timing on the whistle. I'm like, what's wrong with the whistle? But it's the other whistle. Now we cleave the bitch. Not slam. Okay, we can deal with flick. As long as it's not slam right off the bat again. The slam right off the bat that last put me on my back foot and I never got off of it. We'll do Hellfire to do... Super move! Pew! But I just hate how the other bosses have been so easy and then this is so hard. There's zero ramping of the difficulty, which I'm not a huge fan of. Sword Break the Knife. You know what? No, I'm not. Because that's this hand won't didn't die. I lost by about 30 points. Every time I think I need to defend this guy, I get upset and don't. It kills me. We're all allies. We got this. We're gonna do it. As long as I don't push the wrong buttons again. Split party's attention. Knife guy deals with hand, magic deals with knife. Well, see, the, the problem with magic lady is she takes so long. See, like, right now she has no energy. And it takes her, so if I overclock her, which means she does double the damage on an expire attack, it's going to take two turns to recharge her. Because her super fire attack that does any damage takes three pips, so that's three turns I have to have her sit there. And if I just have her whack, it does like two damage, so it's pointless. So for this fight, she's basically useless. She can't, she doesn't do anything, and spread fire doesn't do enough damage, and again, it's still three pips anyway. Uh, let's see, let's break the flute, saves for all heal and defends. Yeah, basically, that's what I'm having to do with him, is just defend and heal. But yeah, the problem is that she's just, she's a wasted slot, and there's nobody to fill that slot because you only have four characters. Gwen is bleeding. Gwen has to... I should have sword break him. Sword broke him? Because she also does more damage the more something's bleeding. So she encourages bleeding and she bleeds him. He only has one pip. I didn't think of that. So again, I didn't pay any attention and I'm fucked. She's gonna bleed to death.
I don't remember what the little what she has. God, that's frustrating. I'm gonna have to spend this turn recovering her. Because if not, she'll bleed to death. Because I don't remember what Subabon has. Yeah, she has a heal 20. So I better use that before I lose it. I'm gonna use that before she dies. Because I'm really not concerned with her at all. Because, like, as like I said, once she does her 40 damage, that's all she does. For me. So I'm probably using her incredibly wrong, but that's the only way I can think to use her. damage on the one hand. And seven damage. Oh, because they downed her... Uh... Oh. So I'm going to sweet tune my stabby bitch. Because this should be another round of bleeding. Ooh. Don't grab. Don't grab. Don't grab. You grab the one person I couldn't afford for you to grab. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll be alright. Gotta get her out of there. This will kill it. This could kill it. It does. Oh, it didn't transfer the other two to the other hand. Oh, I was robbed. Okay. So now I just have to not be dumb. She's got full health. He can only scalpel me, so he can't do major attacks. He's just gonna bleed me to death. Shield break. Do I need it to do less damage? No, because I don't think that translates. We just need to do more damage to the knight. And get him bleeding. Defend. Just defend. Just survive. That's all I need you to do right now. More bleeding. Not rage, so I'm gonna do King Claw, heal 50, and get most of my energy back. No, on me, thank you. Don't eat her, I'm not upset, don't care that she died. I gotta start building bleeds on him. Because the bleeds are what's gonna save my life here. Three damage, wow, okay. Get a rage, which is gonna burn a turn, but heal me. God, that's so much health. Ugh. So much health. You know what? We're going to work because he's got one turn. Yeah, so I'm going to defend so I keep more energy. We're going to heal because he has enough energy to do everybody now. And I'm going to read every time I pick what I'm telling him to do. I'm going to read it. And apparently I just went offline. So you guys can't see or hear me. That's not good. Now it says I'm back online. So, okay. The problems we were having at the start. Awesome. Wait, she's got the bell. I should have given that to somebody else. I should give the bell to the rat, the mole lady. Tuesday stuck for Steam games? Yeah. No, it's not screen. Steam, it's Twitch. I was having that problem with Twitch. I've given the lady who I need to be doing attacks. Ooh, she's bleeding. Yeah, 
if I don't give him some health, he's gonna die. Just gotta keep him mobile. Just gotta keep him alive. I'm probably gonna hit him with bleeding this turn. Yep, bleeding. Okay, we're down to 200. Not too bad. We're still doing okay here. God is angry. Well, God can suck my... Musky quad. Two of those, two of those. What should I do? Should I just pile on damage to make him bleed more, or defend to get... Uh, I need him bleeding. The more he bleeds, the better this goes. He doesn't have enough, so I need to defend. Star effects again, but it would have been better to use an item for the flute there. Oh, I don't have any items. I don't have the items in either in the right hands or I've already used them, so. She doesn't even have enough energy to do that, so I should have defended. And I didn't even see how the rat died, I was too busy reading what you what you wrote. This is pretty much a, uh... Why didn't he attack? Why didn't the, the hand attack? I'm confused. I'm confused as to what I did there and how I did it, but okay. turns of damage. That's fine. Sword break on him is more than okay. I don't know if these can miss. That would suck if my heal misses. I don't think it can, though. Yeah. I think my abilities can't miss just an attack. Okay, that's bad. So do I defend? 43 damage. So that's at least four turns. He doesn't have enough power to heal me again. I don't have enough power to do it, so I think I'm going to have to defend and get the energy. And hope that he attacks the Scotsman here. Defend them, defend them both. Well, the hand is bleeding. It's taking 16 damage per, per turn bleeding. And every time I attack it, it does more. But now... I needed that. Break, 10 damage. Bruce sobered up, damn. I needed that one more round of that drum. I needed one more round of that drum. We might have it, guys. I don't want to jinx it, but we might have it. As long as something crazy doesn't happen to my bitch here. We died to death. Praise the mighty. Uh, and it hits, what, it's walking away? That'd be so funny if we actually killed it. There's just a dead man in the lab now. <laughs> oh my god.
We did it. We did it. We fought off a god. That was... I have no words. It fell over thud. Worm, are you okay? I'm... I'm fine. I'm just coming so hard. It's... Oh god. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm fine now. We barely made a scratch. It'll take more than our tiny weapons to slay God. Oh God, I thought, madness. Now he's gonna attack us, what? You are all mad, utterly, utterly mad. Give me a better weapon, you asshole. I dare say that your idiotic actions have only hastened Whitehall's destruction. Yeah, probably, that God looks pissed. Better clear out of here before he comes back. You blaspheming little. George, Verm's right. You said it yourself, the Whitehall is, is over. But your life isn't. Find anyone who's left alive in the other rooms and go somewhere else. Somewhere else? Sky Garden, America. You could even found a new city if you wanted. A new knit. What? What the fuck is that? You're pulling my leg. You are seriously pulling my leg. A new new did do I do guam. New new ad. Why do we or why did you win? I mean, am I alone here? New ad do what? Do why you win? What the fuck? I don't. No, a new ad. Oh, for fuck's sake! A hall without gods. I'm not even trying that one. Same old Gwen. Always disrespectful. Always Gwen. Rodin rejects Dosmo, dies a lonely, sinful misery. That's what I always thought. And yet here you stand, proud and joyous. You don't need the old way, you pave your own path. It's difficult for an ancient sycamore like me, but maybe I can find the strength to do the same. Jeez, really? Where was this open mind in this back when we were dating? Let me make amends, a penance of sword. Oh, give her the sword. Give her the double blade thing. I can teach you a lancing technique. From the Knights of Poyolo. <laughs> Stroke intensifies. <laughs> Basically. Where were you? Yeah, she totally... They were dating. They are, That's her ex. She's like, oh my god, I don't want to go back because my ex is there. Score an actively losing brain cells over the game's use of words. Oh, please, tell me like you could pronounce that. I want to hear you call me right now and pronounce both of those words. It's a powerful strike that cuts me... It's a sword and shield. Give me a better knife, you guess. guess. Gwenlern Skybolt. Cool. You should leave while peace remains. Take care, Gwen. And you, big boy. You know we just turn on the gas and burn this place to the ground? That's not a bad option. I shall mull it over. I want to push the button again. There's no need to press it again. Damn you. They knew exactly what I was going to do. Okay, we're fucking saving. Jesus Christ. A bright room. Oh my god. That was, that was angry, brutal, and I don't want to do that again. Uh. Final strike, multi-part attack hits twice as well. That's really good. You're useless. I love you, but you're useless. Increase max energy. I don't more effective. She just needs more of everything. Like, she needs more energy. She needs more health. She needs more attack. She needs better attacks. Or she needs a really powerful weapon. Because she's still... She's the only one... Well, I say she's the only one. I thought that they were going to give the rat lady a new... But they didn't. I guess I gotta give her a new pip. Because it's she just runs out of energy. And then she just sits there. Dumb and forgot to do everybody else. Do, 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 whatever. Encore bestows one energy. Wow, that's actually really good.
But I only use Encore at the first of the fight. I don't use it a lot. Trouble is I die when the healer runs out of energy. So I need to give the healer more energy. What are we doing here? We're just gonna last one extra turn. That's really good. I think that's what I was going for. So now that'll last one extra turn. Good. So that makes her really powerful. But yeah, I wonder what the guy's gonna do. So he's bleeding to death from his hands. Like, both of his hands are, like, majorly fucked up. So he's gonna, like, walk into the break room. Hey, guys! My hands are kind of tore up. These rats came out of the toilet and... Stab me. Can you imagine? Nobody's gonna believe that guy. Nobody's gonna believe him. You're telling me. He had a, you got cut by a rat with a Swiss army knife, another rat with a scalpel, and a squirrel tooting a, tooting a dude. Now, you're fired. You're fired. Alright, so hopefully that was long enough. For fucking timey wimey bitch. That's incredibly funny. His hands and bandages, but he takes like twice as much damage because he's fearful of you. All right. If this lady ain't done, we're switching to do. Ah, Tiago knows. Agdignito? We looked that up before, but I thought that was... Come on, you are right on time. Take a look. This is the most... This is not a simple overclock. Overcloak. Overclock? It's an overclock cloak. One would wear to make errands in the market. This is a statement piece. An unapologetic artistic display. This is what one would wear to dazzle with the power of a titan and the majesty of a queen. He received a magnificent cape. It shines with shines and shimmers with glorious splendor. It's rad. Yes. Yes, it is rad. Send abazado, mama gods. Ba 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 ba. So is it in a trinket? Oh, it's not in trinkets. Does that mean I can equip it? I can. He'll probably get mad. Dazzling, opulent, luxurious. Holy balls. That'd be funny if I just say, sorry, kept it. So it gives him one extra health, two extra defense. See, that's that's my problem, is I always like soup up my most powerful person to be like ungodly powerful, and everybody else suffers for it. Yeah, I think it would be smart to give it to her. Because she needs the extra energy to knock down defenses and offense. So he's probably going to get mad that I equipped it. But I'm hoping he's, like, arrested or something, and I can't... I don't even have to turn it in. Because it's not in trinkets, like, it's something I'm supposed to deliver. Oh, can I go that way? No, can't cross the street. Yeah, that'd be terrible. That's a quick time event for you. Trying to cross the street as a mouse in London. I wonder why nobody's made a remake of Frogger. Because that's what that was. You're just trying to get across the street as a frog. I enjoyed that game. That shows you how old I was, as I enjoyed games like Frogger. And Pizza Time. Remember the time I got stabbed here and died? Yeah, he's gonna be pissed. Hopefully he's arrested. Like I said, hopefully I don't actually have to give him this cape, because this cape is actually really good. Because anybody can equip it. And it's good on everybody, because it gives everybody, like, plus one to everything. I'm not that old. I had it. I bought it new. I'm gonna be 
actually turning 40 in 2025. Oh! My dearest apprentice, pardon my absence, the guard on my tail had to make a hasty escape across the open seas. Nailed it! As an apprentice, you surpassed all my pleas. Keep the garment. Consider my thanks for my... Blah, 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 blah. Excellent. So I do. Awesome. Okay. Well, why don't we go kick this off and start wrapping this up? By overthrowing the king and queen of everything. Wait, Carlos Carpentry. I don't think I've ever been in that building. Uh, there's no door, so that would be why I haven't been in that building. This is a front ratch. Yeah. And I was going to invite you to it, but you know. Because I'm thinking of throwing a thing for my friends. But you know. You're just mean to me. How's he pulling that many threads off one spool? That's not right. Well, I want to. I want to kick off the revolution. I never invite you. Things bullshit. I'm not gonna let that stand. That's bullshit. What am I doing wrong here? I don't remember how to get to the fucking bar. Hey, there's somebody hidden back here? Shh, don't tell anyone I'm here. <laughs> he gave me three dollars. When was the last time you invited me to do anything? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Wait, there's another thing here. Found two seeds. I'm finding all sorts of hidden shit. What is that? Fresh coffee, three seeds for a cup. All right, I'll have a cup. What kind of milk? Cow. I want to see a mouse milk the cow. Normal milk, you know, cow milk. Buddy, there ain't nothing normal about putting titty milk in your coffee. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Uh, that is, yeah, far be it for me to kink shame. It's not like that. Of course it isn't here. One pervert special. You received a coffee. Drink it while it's hot. Joking. Who am I, the royal coffee master? Drink it whenever the bloody well you want. Important thing is that it taught us to love. Holy crap! Yeah, I need to give this to him so he can recover three. But that takes a whole turn. So it smart thing we do would be give it to her. Give it to her so she can give somebody else a turn. But let's see. I invited you to go to FWA. And he said, no, I don't do, I don't like to do things. I don't like to go out and hang out. Okay, I invited you to play dinosaurs with me and you're like, no, I don't want to do that. So let's, let's not, let's not scratch at that itch. There have been lots of things I've invited you to do. But you know, you're popular and important and I get it. And where the hell is this stupid thing? So I can't, <laughs> he was late to the... Yeah, and when I said that doesn't matter, you're like, eh. And then, and then. What did this guy ask me to do again? He asked me to go kill somebody, but I don't remember where. Sober enough. Let's get joggy prick. Uh, Sterling Knight, whatever. Get to the part with Thimble Arms. Yeah, we've met. Good, that makes things easy. Consciousness missions, but we've already read all this. Unprovoked fight back, blood was drawn, the other one stepped in, took a swipe, me too. I was lucky, made it alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then what? So I think we should take the job. There's no more in the story. We don't have three, so we follow a little. I mean, maybe. Where does this all happen? Soul Hill Village, you know it? Of course, it's in the songs. They're stupid songs. Uh, but yeah, that's the place. I bet Dizzy knows where it is. Maybe we'll head over there and see what this is all about. Do 
I gotta talk to the bird, so I don't just use the bucket, I gotta talk to the bird. And then we'll see what happens. Then we will see what happens. Hey, oh, you have me pay for things all the time. You're like, hey, you do that. Oh, I can't get to him. There it is. I'll just be chilling around here. Got some seeds to munch on. Wait. So I can't ask him about it. Okay, that's weird. So how am I supposed to ask him about it? That's weird, and I don't like it. Oh, well. I mean, it shouldn't matter what location I ask him about it. And even so, I got the quest here. So if I'm if there was a place I'm supposed to ask him about it, it should definitely be here. Maybe I'm thinking about it too much. I think I'm thinking about it too much, but oh well. I'm just gonna continue. Uh. Sing me the song. You know exactly what to say. Friends, rodents, country mice, break up your ears. I love that song. Sorry, I'm not sorry. I didn't ask you. You recognize this as knife darts. It's the most dangerous game. I think I'm being hustled. I'm hustling this sucker. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you sure you're ready? You said your sir is at the statue? Because this is it. Point of no return. I didn't pray at the statue, so I'm sure it's fine. Tonight is the night. Soon the yellow god will knock upon our door. A terrifying prospect, but I'm not afraid. We could still initiate Proposal 99, the city evacuation plan. Your Majesty, this may be our last opportunity. For the last time, there is no need. I have faith in Aquila and Excalibur. We do not need that accursed weapon. That's severely blunting your knife by stabbing it into the carpet and then the concrete beneath it. Where is the Plague Master? He's in his lab, desecrating some course, I expect. Oh, hey, look, it's the drunk guy. The Royal Majesty. Royal Master. Oh, can you get Leo. <laughs> you reek of alcohol, Sir Alex. Did you abandon your post just to go wallow in a tavern gutter? There's good intel to be gained from Tavern Gutter's Needle Knight. Yeah. Why the things you over here? Out with it. There's an unsavory gathering happening tonight in the slums. Hundreds of rodents all threatening to march on the palace. A protest? Without a license? Who are the organizers? I don't know their names. But some devil-tailed vagabond mouse with a god sword was chief among them. He looked familiar. Vagabond? No. That's impossible. For the peasants to revolt on tonight of all nights. It is no coincidence. They must have caught wind of the imminent danger above us. So, it's an opportunistic rebellion then. They wish to leverage the chaos to overthrow me, just as they did with the squirrel do. Well, I don't know about that, but yes, this is a security concern. Blade Master, why are you standing around? Get out there and quash this petty uprising. 
My duty is to protect you, your majesty, and to that end it is vital that I remain by your side. If the Blade Master have come down with a case of the Lily Livers, it'd be more than willing to lead the troops. Not an option, Alex. You cannot be trusted with authority. That much you've demonstrated time and time again. What are you talking about? The Sterling Knight has an excellent track record. It's right there in his title. Get up there and bash some skulls, Sir Alex. With grace and might, your majesty. Now there's a soldier who remembers what he's fighting for. Who knows? Maybe he's due for a promotion. Guy's just still fishing. That's all four of us then. Wow, you can count. <laughs> right on time. We still have three hours to the 13th chime, the witching hour. I was hoping for a bigger crowd, though. Hi, <laughs> this is a bit pitiful. You said you had hundreds. <laughs> Boy, still. Where is everyone? I don't know. We knocked on doors. We handed out leaflets. I swear, we got hundreds of RSVPs. Psh. I love how he's actually standing on a soapbox. The people want change, but they don't want to put their necks on the line. Well, can't say I blame them. It's all a bit intimidating, ain't it? We can still do this, right? Everyone, gather round and listen up. This is it. This is the night. We're gonna march up on Tourist Street, march right past the Ratlas, march right into the Royal Palace. We're gonna find the king and demand that he listens to our voices. Anything to add, Vermin? Let's stay safe. Let's kick ours. It's Regis night time. <laughs> Why? Why am I like this? I think I know why, but why? <laughs> it's regicide time. <laughs> Hell yeah! Gwyn likes it. Gwyn's down for it. Pale is down for it. <laughs> whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not the plan. We want to shed as little blood as possible, whether the blood is red or blue. Boo! Coward! I can't get over how well writing this is. Feeling icky, gonna crawl into bed night night. Well, thanks for hanging out, pal. I hope you feel better. Well, I get that dragging the king into the streets and lopping off his head would be satisfying. I get that it'd probably be for the good of the city in the short run. Heck, it may be even for long term political and economic benefits. However, I've forgotten where I'm going with this. <laughs> Bree? Killing the king is not the plan. Let's follow the plan. Fine. Excuse me. This protest is being held without a proper license. On his majesty's orders, please disperse immediately and return to your homes. The guard are here already. Did somebody rat us out? That's ironic. So very much we do. We fight. There's no time to waste. Let's knock them out and push through. Now we're talking. Let's rock. Well, wow, they look pretty cool, don't they? I think this is like the first fight music. Oh no, it's different. Out of my way, Tin Heads. Sky Vault. Deal damage and lower defense and attack. Well, that's cool. So do I go after the stronger one or the weaker one first? Super attack. Holy crap, 30 damage, bleeding, and defenses are down. Jesus Christ. It takes everything she has to do it, but... Ba -ba -ba, and I don't know what you why you're locking onto her. Jesus. Oh 
Oh yeah, the last one does twice as much damage. Yeah, he gonna die. Oi, oi, what's with all the violence? What happened to the plan? Sheesh. Well, in for a seed, in for a sapling, I suppose. You were right there when it happened. Why are you asking what happened? Oh, hey, it's them again. Look, mate, just let us through. We have a right to protest, you know. Not tonight, you don't. Pack it in right now or spend the evening behind bars. This is mad. I've never seen the Scorn be so proactive. There's no reasoning with them. Step aside. Now they got some swords. I like that. Out of my way, Tin Heads. Pretty ironic they gave the lady with no legs a jumping attack. But you know, ours is not to reason why. Man, this game is so much fun. You guys really, I know I've said it 18 times, but you guys really need to buy this game. Cool, I killed them in one turn. Your protest ends here, hooligan scum. If it's violence you want, it's violence you shall get. How does he deploy the blade? I mean, Swiss Army Knights are not spring-loaded. I haven't thought of that until now. This is awfully passive music for a the third fight in a series of fights. Dead. He whips it so it swings out. Okay, I get that. If they all attack me at the same time, they'd just kill me with sheer numbers, but they're attacking me two at a time here. And I get to heal between every one of them. <laughs> the barricade is all set up, Sir Alex, or the colored pencils. That'll stop us. That'll totally stop us. Lord, don't let us go out of the bastards' throat. Hi, we're the bastards. What the? How are we meant to get through this? Um, let's find a way around a way to flank them. You mean like the street that's right here? That's how I use my. I've only failed once and I didn't use my Yeah. Uh oh. Ma'am? Sir? Whatever you are, you can't be here. Get back inside. You serious? I'm not doing anything. Doesn't matter what you're doing. I said you'd get back inside. Why? We doing curfews now or something? Yeah, you gonna tuck us in? Give us a bedtime story? Shut it up there. You're both starting to piss me off. Excuse me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, you guys need to go home. We're just passing through. That's not possible. Please disband immediately. You're being too polite, Bob. I'll show you how to handle these low-life retrobrates. Owned. This is Bird's his finest. Owned. The Bunny Boyfriend. They're nothing but ungodly whatever. Owned. So, George. Fancy seeing you outside of Whitehall. Gwen. Fancy you seeing you instigate more chaos. You're the same as ever. Stubborn and petulant. But you did open my eyes to the horrors of the gods. If the yellow god isn't as cursed as the white, then they're not a deity worthy of worship. I'm here to fight by your side. Well, your help is appreciated. Thanks for coming. Firm, let's mosey. Mosey? Well, that's neat that they... I don't have to fight these guys because of him. I 
What's up? You gotta put your best clothes on for a protest. You wanna look good for your mugshot, right? Get a drink while we're here. Cafe's closed. What kind of caffeine addict wants coffee right before bedtime anyway? Man, I'm sleepy. <laughs> What's Alex thinking? Getting everyone up at this hour. Hey, get it together, Vicky. We've got a king to protect. Hi, guys. <laughs> Where did you come from? Don't move. You're all under arrest. What a pain. There's no end to these tin heads. Keep your paws off the air to Kermbale. Playmaster Roman! What are you doing up here? Did Mammy send you? She did. But she didn't ask me to drag you home. She told me to support you however I can. This fight is important to you. And if this is who you are, then I'll stand by your side. Thank you, Namang. Let's go. We're almost at the barricade. Hey, I can save. I wonder what happens if I go the wrong way. <laughs> what? How did you get past the barricade? Well, whatever, let's fight. I was hoping this is what would happen. <laughs> if I went the wrong way, I'd come up behind him, flank him, and then be mad. Use Rajaja. Out of my way, tin heads. I'm gonna kill a man. That is such a good move now. So instead of taking two turns and four, it takes three to do more damage and the same effect. That's amazing. I might be able to kill two of them at once. Uh... I did! I killed two of them! Look at me! Four damage. Does so much damage now. Barricade down. Let's go. Nicely done, you fool. No time to waste. To the palace. Or maybe I had to do that. I thought I was being creative and funny. He's drinking coffee. I don't pay four thousand seeds a month to put up with this, which is an outrageous sum considering that I've had one hundred seeds maybe this entire game. Nobody down here. That's Lamai. I expected better. Oh, that's a problem. Right. Wharf secured. What's next? What? Hey! Damn it, we were so close. Housing market be like, yeah. Let's go! Nice. It's the husband. Anton, why are you here? I want to fight too, Lapa. Babe, I love you, but you're not exactly a brawler. Stop babying me! I'm not some sort of soft boy to be left behind while you go adventuring. I can handle myself. I can fight. You're right. I should stop babying you. But you like diaper play, so I have to baby you. Let's give him hell. Yeah, I'll race you to the palace. So I guess every... If I didn't do this, I'd have to fight all these people myself. Which probably would actually be the smarter way to do it, because I'd get more experience, but... Hi there. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of... That's a lot. That's gonna... That's gonna be a fight. Squad! A third job. The portcullis is down and triple locked. Nobody's breaking into the palace tonight. We're going to win this battle. Aye. We're going to beat these upstarting little miscreants bloody. Aye. And I'm going to snatch my Blademaster title back from that stupid blonde twink. 
Um, Eesh, that's a lot of guards. <laughs> I think we can take them all. We fought worse odds. But with only an hour before the 13th hour, there's not enough time. We need a new strategy. Dilton, I'll keep the bastards distracted. You show the wild ones the secret you found. You got it. Secret? Don't get killed while I'm gone, Bree. Don't be daft. I'm a soft cheese by name, but I'm hard by nature. I'll take the whole guard down and then bring some with- What? Right you are. Whatever you said. You four follow me. Meanwhile, we're just gonna leave our loved ones to fucking fight. We're capable fighters. We're not dying tonight. So there's only three, so that means I missed one. Or maybe not, because I have three followers. My brother's dead, so I can't exactly, you know. This way. Do 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 do. Save the game, the city center. It all comes down to this. Up here. Do 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 do. Freakazoid. Freakazoid. It's just a shipyard storage room. Shh. Wait. Really? Ta-da! Secret tunnel! Secret tunnel! Through the mountain! I don't remember the rest. Something, 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 secret tunnel. I don't remember the song. I remember the, the important part, though. But where does it lead? Believe it or not, right into the palace. You dug this yourself. No, I was the one to stumble upon it, though. It's one of them fancy emergency escape passages. A royal must have had it dug aeons ago. Well, no time to waste. Give that yellow god hell. You're not coming with us? Got my own fight to join. Gotta keep those guards occupied while you do your thing. All right, here goes. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Through the mountain. Something, something. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> what news from Sergeant Alex? Uh, it's not great. Word is things quickly got violent. The city's barricades are overrun. So, Alex rallied every guard to defend the palace. Poor Cullis. Every guard. In one spot. Even the ones on palace patrol duty. Is that bad? Return to your post, Steve. Yes, Blade Master. Death gods above, riotous at the gates. Dear, oh dear, this is a most precarious situation. His Majesty's safety is paramount. We must leave the palace immediately. Yes, yes, we can use the emergency escape tunnel. One tunnel leads to the wharf, which will give us access to the under river. A swift egress. No time to lose. Shall we go, Your Majesty? This is fortuitous. Your Majesty. The timing, it is fortuitous that the peasants chose to attack on tonight of all nights. We can solve two problems at once. I don't understand. Law Master, surge an urgent memo to Plague Master Aquila. Grant him the th authority to use Excalibur. Effective immediately. Hold that order, Ophiphius. Your Majesty, unleashing Excalibur may deter the Yellow Guard. But if my understanding of the weapon is correct, it would kill countless rodents, members of your own kingdom who you have sworn to serve. There are riotous louts who wish to put my head on a spike. I like how it's two people. There's two people from the kingdom who are trying to kill him, and he's like, they're all they're all terrible. Their lives are forfeit. That's probably a pr that's a pretty appropriate, I think. Lord Master, stop dithering and write the memo. Um. Your Majesty, this decision is not to be made lightly. Please deliberate. 
By the gods, both of you are pathetic. I'll issue the order myself. Oh, he stood up. Your majesty, what would your mother do? My mother, she desired strength and stability. Virtues that you know nothing of. Move. That make his, like, crown glitter. That's neat. And the dead civilians? Is that the price of a strong and stable kingdom? Unbelievable. How can a royal blade master be so naive? You should know better than all that this palace was built from blood and bone. Every right, every privilege, no. Our whole Rodinian way of life is maintained at the end of a sword. So don't stand there in the garb of a knight and act like you're better than our violent institution. You are the bloody institution. I would imagine the Rat King slapped him. Gods. He's right. I'm such an idiot. Oh, look at his face when he looks up. Oh. It's always been this way, hasn't it? This palace of blood and bone. For as long as we've had kings who rule and peasants who serve. Perhaps longer. Go to the armory and fetch my needles. Your swords? All of them. Hurry now. Godspeed, Needle Knight. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, he just fucking stabbed the king. Oh, 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 oh God. You. You're the worst. Plunk. Traitor! What did you just do, you treasonous bastard? I didn't wish to spill the blood of my king. And I don't wish to kill my own brethren. It's too late for your regrets. You've made your choice, King Killer. Then come, attack me. But you've all heard the songs. You've witnessed my needlework. You know that when we cross blades, I shall be the only one left standing. Yeah, maybe I got I got stuff to do. Yeah, I got the I got that thing at the place. He's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm not throwing my life away against the Vopel Slayer. Oh, that's a problem. Has the Thimble Guard become a coven of traitors and cowards? Diego, please turn away. Thou broke thy oath, Blade Master. I did. To protect the kingdom. Yeah, they're, wearing, they're called the Thimble Knights. Yeah, that's why they're called the Thimble Knights. What is a kingdom without a king? A king who murders his own people is a king not worth serving. That is not our judgment to make. Duty is not beholden to whim. And what does your duty say? Does it compel you to fight me? It compels me to execute you. It's Judge Judy. I don't want to do this, Diego. You are my dearest. And you are mine. Oh, he changed the way he speaks. Look, he changed the way he talks. Oh, oh! I even have a button for aw somewhere. There it is. Oh, they love each other. Oh, that's kind of kinky. Oh. That makes the hammer of justice all the heavier. Aww. Oh, please let me come out of the rocket. Please let me come. Yes, the rocket. We're in. I. But are we safe? Ferret man. Yeah, not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. I see what they did there. Breeze diversion is working even better than hoped. But who is the Dom? It's me. It's me. It's not me. So what's the plan now? 
Well, we have two threats to deal with, Excalibur and the Red Guard, the Yellow Guard. But it's minutes to the witching hours. Which do we prioritize? I figured this might happen. I've already made up my mind. You three go stop the Plague Master and the Doomsday Weapon. I'll speak with the king. What? Alone? Yes, I'll tell him about the Yellow Guard and ask a route to the surface. Are you sure, Sir Fern? You're not exactly, you know, an eloquent orator. Huh? You're bad with words, lot, especially around authority figures. <gasps> oh, <laughs> you're right. But I don't think it'll matter. I doubt a fancy seat would change his heart at this point. Are you sure you know what you're doing? Just focus on Excalibur. Oh, that's going to suck. I'm going to have to fight without him. He's totally balls to the wall, and I'm going to have to rely on her to do it. That sucks. Aye, right, you can do it. Give him hell. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. That fucking sucks. Makes you feel bold. And I guess I'll give her the frickin... No, the other one. That one. There's really, seriously, nothing better than the kilt for this guy. Like, his starting armor is the best armor for him, seriously. I gave her the fancy shit. Alright. The King of Jaws. I don't remember how to get there. I don't remember how to get there. No. So I'm going to have to kill the Plague Master as these guys. I'm sure glad I remembered that. Runs around in underwear. Freakazoid. Freakazoid. This is a whole lot of stairs. I'd be tired. Just in time. Yes, one last time she f lands on her face. How do we push the button? We're moving. A strange workshop, a secret pod's just way, and now a godly lift. Where exactly are we going, Savaban? Ah, kilts are kinky. Yeah, they are. They allow early access. That might be the official uh, dress of the official dress code, I should say, of uh, the Krogan army. You know, just easy access. Excalibur is at the top of the tower. You think the Plague Master knows we're coming? He's probably standing right there in the dark. I'm not looking forward to this fight. I'm not gonna lie. I am really not looking forward to this fight. Hey, look, the boom! We just disable it right here. So if you wear the kill... Aquila! We get early access to the quads. Well, you guys wear it. I don't. How odd. I was expecting a message from the king. Instead, I'm greeted by my apprentice, a lab rat, and a squirrel with a recorder. Wow, that's pretty brutal. Whatever. It doesn't matter. The king's permission was nothing but a formality anyway. Soon the yellow god will make his entrance. And the power of Excalibur shall be revealed. We won't let you do that. This ha I really hope this is actually two rats on, ti on each other's shoulders. Wait, is that a 50-pound bomb on a crossbow? They're alluding to the fact that it's a nuclear bomb. I mean, it's probably not, but they talk about how humans, all the gods had to lay like coward in bunkers. But what I don't get is like when you look out on the London skyline, like there's the shard, like the, like, so it's not like just after World War II where that would make sense. But they're alluding to the fact that it's some gigantic, complicated bond that they spent rat generations of lives trying to understand. So they're trying to make you think it's really complicated. So I don't know. 
I don't know whether it's literally like an, just a, a conventional bomb. They make it sound like it's more, much more than a conventional bomb. But yes, it's a bomb on a crossbow. The system is fully operation. Soon the bell will ring its 13th chime. At that moment, the ballista will release, slinging the egg through this clock face to the holes below. The uh, egg will explode and the yellow god shall perish. Along with half of America. Regrettably. Just over four minutes to go. Shababan, can you dismantle Excalibur? I can try. Ah, tampering with the egg I cannot permit. Oh, I. You think you can take us? Take you. I'm an aging academic with no battle experience. Of course I can't take you. But I don't need to win. I just need to delay. Please be two rats. Please be two rats. Please be two rats. Oh, shit. There actually is a counter. Oh, fuck. Damn. What? He floats? I don't like that. And there's an actual timer. There's an actual timer. Fuck me. Oh, why does that make this all the worse? 240 health. That's not great. Our planet faces an unprecedented threat. Wait, what? We must act. What? Time. He's running. What the Our fuck master. is that? Is that the song? That's the song. Oh no, and yeah, he is kind of hot. How long is 240 seconds? Five minutes? Oh god, and her special takes a long time. 51 damage, okay. Akila is moving. Summon. Oh no, the rat bot! No, rat bot! Let's talk about the Anthropocene era. The current rate of species extinction is 1,000 times the background rate. What is this song? Consumption and meat production are among the primary drivers. The biodiversity crisis caused by habitat destruction has so far proven irreversible. Oh my god, they even remixed their own song in it! Ugh. Oh, I'm sitting here talking instead of- Oh no, I only did six damage! Whack, gotta whack, do more than four damage. Five, that's enough. What's this? Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh, it's a stun. Shit. That's fine. This song is so fire, man. Oh man, I'm burning time trying to decide. Bryce is stunned! Depends. Okay. Carbon dioxide and methane emissions continue to cause global warming. Ocean acidification has devastated marine life. Microplastics have Oh, he is. He's using his tail. Okay, that is still really cool. Antarctica. Rainwater is no longer safe to drink anywhere on Earth. This is simply unsustainable. Rainwater is un unhealthy. Oh, shit. He can heal himself? I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I just don't have enough energy. I don't have enough attack to attack him. Especially since he just healed 25 damage. I don't have it. She doesn't have three pips. Fuck. I'm gonna defend. Fire. This is the wrong move, but I gotta do damage to the bot, too. Okay, good, I killed the bot. Skywall. Oh my god, this is tense. There's not been a timed thing in the entire fucking game, and now there's time shit. I don't have enough energy. Oh shit. Yeah, I gotta get him in a fight. This? Don't stun, don't stun her, don't stun her, don't stun her, don't stun her. Fuck. I'm fucked. I can't do it now. I don't have enough energy to do it now. Cause she's stunned. Bruce is seeing double. Attack. Whack. Hit him. Hit him hard. It's a miss. Shit. Yeah, I don't have it. Cause she stunned her. 
Five, four, three, two, one. Yep, so, oh well. Yep, he stunned her at the wrong time and I didn't have it. That's a really cool song though. I just didn't have enough damage. Because she doesn't do any, he doesn't do any. So it's all down to Gwen. Aquila! Maybe I should have ignored the robot. But the question is, do I if I leave the robot alone? Yeah, I guess that him saying there's four minutes to go, I should have been able to figure out that's four minutes. That's so cool, he just stands on his fucking tail. I, ought to, I need to get an animation like that, don't you guys think? That would be tits. It is furry rock, man. Oh, is that an actual song? I've never heard the actual song, so... There's a lot of animation. We'll put it in the... Oh, shit. That was the wrong way. Oops. I'm just gonna ignore the bot and see what happens. Let's talk about the Anthropocene era. The current rate of species extinction is 1,000 times the background rate. Humanity's increased consumption and meat production are among the primary drivers. That destruction has so far proven irreversible. That is such a good song. Oh my gosh. What's this? Stun her. Stun the magic lady. Okay, that's good. Santax here. Oh no, the boat, the robot. I forgot that he like loses his poor little mind. Wait, do I not have oh shit? I'm not able to read. I don't know how to read this fucking thing. I can't read what you guys are talking about, I'm sorry. Bot does so little damage, there's no point. Methane emissions continue to cause global warming. Ocean acidification has devastated marine life. Microplastics have been found in the freshly fallen snow of Antarctica. Rainwater is no longer safe to drink anywhere on Earth. This is simply unsustainable. One minute. Bot's gone. He's gonna heal himself, so what do I do? I don't have enough to... shit, I need to defend. We gotta walk? No, Encore. I don't need to heal. He doesn't do enough damage for me to need to heal. But now she can Sky Vault him. And that'll get him critically low. 34, he's gonna heal for 25. No, he called a bot, okay. Probably gonna have to kill them both. 15 damage, we can do it. 14 and bleeding, he's dead. So he dies next round, so I can just afford to critical her, have her stab the robot. Yeah, he's gonna just kill himself. Stab the robot like your life depends on it, because it does. Everybody you know's life depends on it. Yes. 26 seconds. And then we're going to have 30 seconds of dialogue here. To think you could wield such godly trinkets. A rodent's life is really short and pathetic. Thud. So hop upon. There's no time to lose. Right. You know, if we just cut one of these little... The cell- there's a cell phone! Look at the iPhone! Oh no! 
this is more complex than any godly tech I'm familiar with. You have 20 seconds. Just smash it up. No, that's far too risky. Wait. I may not know the construction of the fire egg, but I know this ballista. Ropes and pulleys, cogs and gears. This is mole engineering. Help me turn this lever. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, that's literally an atomic bomb. Shut up and pull! Oh crap, I actually have to do it. That's a problem. The bell! Turn faster, you bastards! But nothing happened. Right, we disarmed the ballista. The bomb's still gonna go off, but... So Excalibur itself is still active? Yes, but it's not going anywhere. It possesses no more threat to America. It kind of does. Okay, let me catch up. As a furry listening to that. So is that an actual song? Is that what you were telling me? That that song is like a literal song that exists? Or they remade that for just this? They made this song for that. Yes, you do. You can't fight a Krogan who's on the air on their tail. Like he needs any more of advantage on top of being a Krogan. Double advantage. It's literally an atomic bomb. Or at least maybe a little bomb cover. From... Yeah, that's what they... They they make you think that it's an atomic bomb that doesn't make any sense. It's only a, I may have to get the soundtrack. Well, good enough. No point hanging around the death egg. Let's mosey. Let's just... Let's find something to save on first. Yeah, I don't want to do that again. That was crazy. That fight, man. So it takes your three weakest people and is like, hey, kill somebody faster than you've ever done, and you have to do it. You've never been timed before, but now you are. So now I'm going to come into this fight while the little the little guy and Judge Judy are going at it. Oh, there are knives everywhere. Oh no, the gavel! Oh no. I hope they better not be laying in each other's arms. They're laying in each other's arms. We're going to have a problem. <gasps> oh no. Vagabond. So it is you. Blade Master Leo. I'm here to talk with the king. You missed your chance for that, I'm afraid. Not that his majesty was open to conversation. I don't know what happened here. But I don't particularly care. There's a route to the surface from this room, right? The yellow god of death is coming. Let me use this package and I'll stop him. A mouse like you cannot kill a god. You lack the weight. But it's worth a shot, right? I might actually be able to do it. Honestly? Yes, you might. And that possibility terrifies me. What will happen when you do the impossible and slay an immortal god? Will the citizens deify you? Will they crown you Verm, the mouse who stands above gods? I dread to think what you should do with such power. I should say you're right. You're right. You're wrong. I think if I say you're right, I'm going to have to fight him. Probably if I say you're wrong, I'll have to fight him. I think for the basis of because I'm streaming this game for fame and fortune, I think I have to say you're right. You have a point. I wouldn't mind having some power. But honestly, I have no idea what I'd do with it. I haven't thought that far ahead. Of course. I suspected as much. A mouse like you only focuses on the moment. So let me speculate what will happen if you were crowned. You will continue your petty vengeance quest. You will declare war against all gods. When the gods retaliate, and they will retaliate, it won't be just Merica that falls. It will be the total eradication of Rodenia. But you don't care, do you? You are the kind of mouse that would see the kingdom in ruins to serve your quest. That is why you will go no further. Uh-oh. That's not good. I won't toy with you like last time. One strike. That's all I'll need. I don't like where this is going. Something tells me I should defend here, so we're not. I'll show you my strength. That won't save you. I should have defended myself. Mm. 
991 damage. That literally is game over. <laughs> I guess it's trying to prove a point that if you do anything other than defend, you're a moron. And I guess I proved their point for them. That's kind of funny. Oh, I know what I have to do. It's that move where I can def I can dodge anything. So if I defend it, I'd probably still be killed because it does it would do half of nine hundred ninety one damage. Or no, it'd do half of nine hundred ninety nine. My defense brings it down to nine ninety one. I don't know what happened here. I just wish there was a skip. Like I've already it knows I've lost this fight. Yeah, so what I did wrong was, even if I had done what I thought was right, I would have sucked, so. One strike, that's all I need. Yeah, so I have to do Nimblefoot to evade upcoming attack. That won't save you. Boing! What? You dodged it. You're faster than before. Stronger, too. That remains to be seen. Okay, it's playing music, so I'm guessing it's a fairly normal fight from here on out. I'll show you my strength. Klebabe. I'm gonna guess he's gonna do it again. He's still parrying everything, though. That's so stupid. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, I broke his sword. Okay. You can't parry without a sword, Blade Master. And yet again, it's a variation on the song. I love that. Oh, I don't like that. I brought spares. Oh, no. I do not like, do not want. So I have, so I just swipe him to break his sword. Apparently not. Vam's rage subsides. That's a lot of attacks. All the needles. It's like I'm playing Halo again with the needler. Oh, maybe it has to be cleaved, so maybe I have to slash it twice in a row to break it. Break that sword too. His little uh oh face is adorable. Uh oh. Wait, now he's sitting down? You're bleeding heavily, Blade Master. Death does not frighten me. But the fate of the kingdom does. The door to your left leads to the godly halls above. But promise me, Vagabond. Promise me. Promise you what? Promise you what? You have to keep talking for me to... Pro oh, I can move, okay. Promise you what? Are you... I'm gonna sit on the chair. Oh, can't sit on the chair. What kind of shitty kingdom is this? Can't sit on the chair. We... Verm? He died? What do you mean he died? He's sitting up. What in the hell's happened in the throne room? Can't say for sure. Wasn't there for most of it. What about Excalibur? It's out of action. Okay, great. Then we can focus on what lies above us. I don't know what we'll see. The yellow god might be waiting. We can handle it. We're in this together, remember? One for all and all for one. Right, we can do this. Level up. What does he need more than anything else? Firm strength deal extra one damage for each stack of berserk. That's actually kind of terrible. 
Verm's attack do 50% extra damage against gods. So yeah, so I should have invested in that. But it's way too late now, I'm sure. And you can't re... You can't undo what you've bought. I don't know what overcharge is, but she's going to have one stack of it when she starts. This max energy by one. I don't ever use Rally. Rally's a gigantic waste of time, in my opinion. So she spins two. The girl I need the most energy in to spins two. It's Rat's Kingdom, and they made a town... It's a Rat's Kingdom, and they made a town out of Legos. That they did. They did make a town out of Legos. But I would make a town out of Legos if I had enough money. Somebody did. They made Legoland nearby. It's down the road. Gwen recovers. Oh, that'd be so great to have. I think I need to give her the energy. She's got a fair amount of health. She just needs more juice. She needs more juice. Yeah, it doesn't like it when I shift in my seat, does it? She stands here guarding America. Oh yeah, I need to switch that up. I need to switch. No, not the mushroom, you moron. There we go. Because he often doesn't have anything to do that first round. Or actually, the second round. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, wow. Hey, it's the King Scepter. And a vacuum cleaner. Oh, they're already gas in the church. That's not great. They call it hell. Tread softly. <laughs> God. Oh no, the organ music. That's not great. Hey, here we go. Hello. I see no god here. Good, we can all go home. My head is spinning. That's the smoke. And it's only going to get worse. Yeah, the yellow god's the exterminator. It's from the start of the movie. He kills your brother. They, uh... You basically live under a convenience store or something, like a grocery store, and they call in the exterminator to stop you from stealing stuff. And so the guy comes in where he's, you know, gassing the store. We're right by your side, Varm. Oh, I'm drunk and leave. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, we can walk a little faster. How ominous is this? I love it. Apparently they need to use better poison, I'm saying. But yeah, he wears a yellow biohazard suit, so that's why they call him the Yellow God. Meanwhile, they just left this golden scepter. Is that the source? It's some sort of spoke-making machine. Give me a moment, I should find an off button. I've got a better idea. Really? We're going to fight it? I mean, you can literally just push a button and turn it off, but no, we're going to fight it. Let's tear it to pieces. Yeah, they won't be able to just, you know, call in another one. Oh, so she starts the battle with her fire already doing more damage. Oh... Oh my god, is that what I'm supposed to do with her? Is like spend a couple turns charging up her fire? Oh, that makes more sense. If I stand there and charge her fire for a turn or three, and then, because she only gets one big burst of damage. That's so smart. I should have thought of that. The Apocalypse Engine, 20 damage. 20 health, rather. 
Oh, that's a problem. I only do two damage to it. So what's it? It's just gonna blow gas and poison us. It's such good music, man. Fuck this game. Two, 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 four. Oh, it doesn't do double damage on it. Tipsy! Yeah, that's bad. Oh, I'm seeing double. So it doesn't hurt me, it just makes it so where I can't hit the damn thing. Hellfire! Hopefully this won't, uh... And it's not four rats against a god, it's two rats, a mole, and a squirrel. Nothing to it. Uh-oh. Let's take this giant scepter and beat him to death with it. Oh look, we tremble! It's him. Ah. Uh, Servan! Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. But I'm not running. All together, we might just get through this. Aye, let's show him the, just how loud us rodents can roar. Let's give him hell. Oh, this is gonna be sick. His foot. It's just gonna be his foot. Really? The church sound? It's his foot! You broke my machine! This one's for my tail! Uh-oh, we got a queen kind of music going now. Alright, this is gonna suck. Miss, we just don't even know. Yeah, he's got more health than I know how to deal with. This battle's gonna suck. Not the steel toed boots! It just stomps on all of us and kills us. Yeah, that's not good. That's real. That's on a level of good to not good, that's not good. Because he basically does 10 damage to everybody. This isn't working. We need to get higher. Boing, 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 boing. Please reset my health. Please reset my health. That's so creepy. That's just awful. Like, that's horrifying. This one's for my brother! Man, the music just gets better. Oh my god, 520 health per? Good god. Alright, let's attack the right hand first, because it's the right hand. God, I have to do a thousand damage, twelve points at a time. That's gonna take fucking forever. Oh no! <laughs> Look at his hand, it's like, oh no! Okay. I don't, I don't understand why he's flicking. I don't, of all the, maybe I, and when I aggravate him, he's really gonna do damage, but... I'm not liking where this is going. He's just flicking me now. No, I just 
just want to see what happens if I overclock again. I'm just going to try to get her to a point where she just nukes everything. So in two turns, all that stuff's going to run out. So I'm just going to have her play conservative. Uh-oh. Divine Wrath. He's going to hit the table. <laughs> That's not great. That's really not great. That's really not great. He's got 98 turns of rage. Oh, nice. You're on the final. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. Okay, so I blew everything to get Verm out. what to do. And something tells me I should defend, which means I should defend, but I'm not going to because I'm stupid. I'm gonna encore him. I'm gonna pour everything I have into killing one of these hands as fast as I can. Oh no, his rage! His rage ended. Oops. Ah, well, it'll work out anyway. This one's for my brother. Blech. Bonk. Okay. Okay. We're okay. So far. I know we're not okay later, but we will be okay for the moment. She's just gonna build up. She's just gonna clock in and clock out. She's gonna build up that fire, baby. Sky Vault. Do damage, bleed it, and break it. You know what? We're gonna sing a little bit. Because everybody needs some health. I've got manic magic to spend. That's not good. At least that worked out. I had just enough juice to hopefully burn him out. Excellent. Right, we're gonna defend. You too, you bastard. Blick! Bonk! Okay, that worked out. Of course, it took, he did it right after I raged, so I lost a turn of rage. That stinks, by the way. As long as they don't both slam, I think I'll be okay at this moment. I kind of hope, though, that after I kill the hands, I have to kill his face, and he, like, headbutts the table to try and kill me. <laughs> I just find that incredibly funny for some reason. I'm sorry. The hubble bombs next attack. It's kind of pointless to charge up my fire if I don't. I'll never have enough go juice, so I'm gonna defend. Because she has low health, so it's smarter to do that, I think. 19 points of bleed. I haven't paid attention to how much he's actually taken. Hold. Hold. Yeah, I'm gonna defend. Nobody needs health enough to make it worthwhile. Damn it. I don't have enough juice to do anything about it. Fuck. Yeah, I don't have enough damage. He's gonna take a turn of it, and then I'm not gonna have anything to do. Probably a dumb play, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And then Encore. Encore her. 
Oh, I can still give an Encore to Verm, even though he's in the hand. Oh, I really shouldn't spend the three to do it, but I gotta get him out of the hand. Whew, I'm glad that worked. I'm very glad that worked. Click. Which is low. That's fine. Flick him. Flick him, you prick. Bullseye. Because she's actually doing work now that I know how to use her. I'm just stupid, so I'm going to use that. Because nobody else needs a heal, and I don't need to spend the power to do it. Boost your next fire. Sahababa. Seventy-nine damage. I really need to get her not doing that, but I don't know what to do. Um I need to use items earlier rather than later, I think, in case whoever has it dies. Yep. That was the smart play. I don't have time to rage it. I just gotta slash it and hope for the best. Okay, okay, we're okay. We're doing all right. Overclocker again. God, the music, man. It's just sick. He's gonna die on his next bleed. Because he has 25 bleed damage and he has 24 health. But I want to make sure. It's just so much easier to make sure. You know what I mean? Kick them while they're down. Playground rules. You kill them while you can. Good. Okay, we're down to one hand. But now I'm really worried he's gonna come out with some bullshit, like one the one hand's dead. Or the other hand's gonna heal faster, like heal and come back. Why not? Go over heal again, why not? He's gonna pull it up Lambda. She needs to defend. She needs the she needs the power because I need her at three. Yeah, that's a defense. Well, that's not great. I mean, it worked, but gamer, I'm so glad you know what I'm talking about. Oh, she gets her turn. Fuck this bastard. Sixty-five damage. So with three stacks, it's sixty-five damage. Let's defend. Why don't we give her another turn? Sky vault his ass, do make him hurt less, and take less damage. Or take more damage. What's the opposite of what I'm saying? Just go with that. Click. See, I'm worried. I'm worried because there's something off about this. Like, I don't know. Like, I know there's gotta, there's gonna be another section, I'm sure. I got a defender. Everybody basically needs to defend to get energy up. Because he's going to grab next. I can just smell his grab next. So I'm going to use Encore. 
on Verm because he has no energy. And then have him defend again. Or actually, he didn't defend last time. Oh, but if I defend, he's gonna lose his fucking... Rajeje. Ah, I don't know. Because he's gonna grab somebody, and I'm gonna need ya. So I'm gonna hope he doesn't take... Oh, he's slammed, okay. And everybody defended, except for... We're gonna do it again. We're gonna just all defend here. He has to grab this turn. Though. No, another flick. Odd. Okay. I just needed time to get enough energy to do stuff in case he did grab. Overclock. So I'll skybolt this time. So that Verm's next attack will do better. Yay! It's all right. That's all right. We just cleave it and he opens. It's amazing how I'm less stressed about this fight than I was the first guy we fought. And I know this one's gonna be harder, so I know the next round's gonna be worse. He is gonna pull out a gun or something. Just boom, 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 boom. Kills all four of us in one turn. <laughs> or the queen comes out. What are you doing? This isn't gonna be enough, but it'll mean next round I can kill him. So every stack of the stuff is like 10 more damage, okay. I mean, he only has 11 stacks of bleeding, I gotta get on that. Yeah, you're defending. You're defending, you fat bastard. Flick! Local man shoots war robots in the parliament building. Is that what this is? This is the parliament building? Everybody's gonna defend. We're all out of energy. All out of power. He's gonna grab soon. I'll believe you. You can tell me it is. I'll believe you. I'll just be like, oh. 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 <laughs> Taking Exterminator to a whole new level. He just pulls out a gun. Yeah, fucking bastards. Well, maybe he's Scottish. I don't know. See, the... F the way it puts Verm in the middle of the screen makes me think that he's the character who's fighting, but it's not. It's the girl beside him, and I don't, I don't like that. It's just, it's an odd, I don't know, it's weird to me. Did I play, oh, I played it on her. No, I meant to do that. I actually did meant to do that. Because if I made him take another turn, he's going to lose his, uh, a round of berserk. That's fine. Not a problem. I'm glad the crow is streaming so I can have my brain wiped of what I just saw in Destiny 2. Yeah, what what happened in Destiny 2? Did you like play multiplayer or something? Oh, 12 damage! We're gonna do it! Oh, we got the rod. He's faltering! But he's not going down. Our weapons are not enough, but this weapon is. We're gonna beat him to death with the Royal Scepter. Help me lift this thing. That's fucking amazing. <laughs> this thing. It's a mace, right? A godly weapon. We're gonna fucking mace this bitch. We can do this! Sahaba Bond's right. All together now. We're gonna mace the fucker in the face. Oh, it's a quick time. We're gonna mace the fucker in the face. Please, God. Let this happen. Let this happen. Yes! Bitch! I think I just killed a man. I may be wanted for murder. Right. I'm gonna pry his face back open with a fucking... Oh my god. What's up? Run. 
He can't. So he just we just squeaked and it's like squeak. What? Yeah, I think getting hit by the Royal Scepter of Parliament is probably uh, probably a big deal. Um, hey, somebody launched the bomb. That's not good. Winter. Winter is coming. Oh, the bomb blew up top of part of it. Oh, Jesus. Our Big Ben. Um, I hope they blame the exterminator. Like, the exterminator fucking... Oh, he put too much gas in there and blew up Big Ben. Hey, cool. A statue of myself. I hate it. <laughs> Why? It's a good statue, sir. Verb. I very close likeness. That's not the point. It's just, it's gross. I mean, it doesn't have a quad. It kind of doesn't even have a dick, you know. I want people to be able to, like, enjoy this statue. It doesn't have wine coming out of the dick. Because that'd be kind of cool. You know, like chocolate. Well, maybe not chocolate, because that would look wrong. Yeah, chocolate coming out of his butt. Liquid chocolate out of his butt. Wine out of his dick. And, you know, I want the tail tip. Watch the tail Nacho cheese coming out of the tail tip. And, like, his ears... I want, uh, well, I don't know. You know, I, have to, I haven't been giving this a lot of thought, but like whipped cream out of his ears, maybe that should come out of his dick. No, that'd be too on the nose. So like whipped cream, ears, wine, dick. No, nacho cheese, tail, wine, dick. I don't remember the other one. Chocolate out of the butt because that'd be disgusting and great. I don't know. And the feet, for the feet lovers, I don't know what that'll do. They're just musky. They just like constantly exude weird stink. That's what I wanted. The statue sucks. The people want to show their appreciation. Let them. The buzz will die down in a couple of days. Then you can top it. Use it for target practice or piss on it. <laughs> Send him and blows up Big Ben. <laughs> Says four rodents beat him up with a royal scepter. Send him to psychiatric ward. Yep. Thank you, Gwen. I would very much like to piss on it. So, Verm, there's a few things I need to discuss with you in private. Is it pissing? It's pissing. Stay a while and have a chat with everyone. When you're done, come meet me in the throne room. Okay. Peace. It's a statue of you. Or at least, a mouse intended to resemble you. He carries an expression of normal valor. Noble valor. A hero among heroes. You don't recognize him. Firm stand strong. Will you save your game? Yes. Finally got it downloaded. I got it up and saw my character. I got excited and opened up the destination map. I have not been in the game in a year. I've been looking around to see where they fucking removed more contact to the point. Destiny 2 Year 1 has more content than it. Well, yeah. That was... I played it, I guess, six or eight months ago. I was going to stream it, but so I wanted to play it a little bit just to, you know... And it was just kind of boring. Because, I mean, it's the same... You get a gun, you... The people ignore you, you, you know, eh, just, I don't know. Hey, Bruce, I want to say thanks again for catching me from Vino. Nay, bother, what's the least I could do for you after you did for me? All right, Sky Garden, how are things over there? Good and tidy. I think that with a little bit of work, that Destiny is probably in deep trouble, especially with, like, Helldiver stuff, because Destiny has these, like, roaming bands of bad guys, but they mostly ignore you. And it's like, the con they had cool story content for somebody who knows nothing that's going on, like me. But the trouble is now, like you said, people who've been playing it for years don't even know what's going on. And they they keep changing everything about it. So, I don't know. It's, it's they're probably just going to be like, you know what we need? We need Destiny 3. You know, because I think Destiny 2 has just had a run and they're going to be like, you know what? It's, it, the story rocks really, really Really? It's a little much. It's a little confusing to a layperson. Okay, this globe came to the planet, and you can't die now, except for a lot of people can't die. And then, you know, people who could die now can die, but didn't die. And then people come back for the globe because they're mad that the globe can do things, and they try to take the globe. But then that doesn't happen anymore, so the globe was never trying to be taken over. It's a lot. 
it's a lot to digest. Even for a World of Warcraft person, it's a lot. It's a genuine city of the people. I'm not gonna watch out to I did. And even then, it's like they crammed to get it into an hour video. And so by now, with all the new crap that's come out since I've watched the video, I'm sure they had to make another video. And none of it, you know, none of it matters. So it's like, you know. So you and Anton can just mill about all day. Hi, pretty much. Good time all around. Nice. How's the tail? It's holding up fine. I don't think I could have blasted Blade Master Leo without it. Glad to hear it. So you killed him, right? Leo, I mean. I did. Not that I had much of a choice. I didn't think I killed him. I can well imagine. Something wrong? I feel a bit gitter about it. Despite everything he supported, I don't think Leo deserved to die. Guilt is a pain in the arse. It fades over time like any wound, but scars remain. Still... It helped keep our noses and pointed in the right direction. Better to feel guilt than nothing at all. I guess so. But I'm Ratman. I'm running away. I'm not leaving just yet, apparently. Hey, look! I told Lady Gibbs that Sebababan is thriving. She was glad to hear it. She's even thinking about apologizing, if you can believe that. But, whatever, but whether Sebababan wants to hear it, well, that's up to them. Hey, bunny boy. Whitehall has fallen, but it is not the end. In the dead of night, I rounded up the rats and rabbits who remained. We left the Institute. We found some grasslands, and we have started anew. It is a humble village, just a burrow dug beneath a brambly hedge. But it's our own, and it is free of gods. Please pardon my blasphemy. Hey, look! It's the dudes! You peek behind the painting. The hole is still there, but you're not leaving just yet. Hey, we just dropped by to say thanks for the farm! It's nothing. No need for humility, it's a big deal. Well, if you both want to return the favor, I've got a job for you. Can you hold on to this for me? What is that? Oh, the key? For my house. I've got some things to do, and I don't know when next I'll be in Vanandalinanum. Easy enough, sure thing, ghost. Don't be a stranger. Miss Destiny 1. Now, that was a pinnacle of destiny. Without D2, I wouldn't have learned the milk if that is Mithrax. I want to go back to the time of Curse of Osiris and Warmind when that was fun. I will take your word for it. I don't even remember what any of the ex expansions were called that I played. Oh, boy, this place is huge. You could probably fit a hunt, couple hundred. With a bit of, how did the bird get in here? Dude, not gonna lie, it was kind of a struggle to get down here. <laughs> yeah, he had to go through a pipe, through the water. Yeah. But I just wanted to say, don't be a stranger, all right? I've lost entirely my ability to do any voices. For which I apologize. Not that I really care, but I do apologize. I bet you thought you saw the last of me. You're a thief. Hey, there's more to me than thieving. I'm the only one pocket Jabari. Jab Jabari? Jabari. Jabi? Jabroni. He's the Jabroni. It seems that I am the majority of people who enjoy the story. It's not that I don't enjoy the story. It's just that there's no... Especially now. Like, if I started playing it now for the first time, there is no warm-up to it. Like, there's no movie that says... That gives you an idea of the history. It's like, the Traveler's there, you can't die, but you can still die. Go. So it's like, eh. And every, every, every expansion, they have to come up with a new bad or bad guy. It's like, it's like a Marvel movie. Okay, so they had the Marvel movie where everybody fights their own people. And then you have to fight, you have to come up with a bad guy. So, okay, he's going to destroy New York. Okay, well, then the next guy's going to destroy the world. Then the next guy's going to destroy time. Then the next guy kills half the universe. And, you know, it's it just gets, you know, what's the point? You know, it's like the next guy, I guess they're going to have the time wars again or something. I don't know. But 
that's just my problem with it's like okay this is the new bad guy and that's as an outsider to destiny that's how it came across to be it's like there's this new bad guy we're ruined he's gonna destroy everything oh well we killed him well there's a new guy he's gonna oh my god now look at this smoky guy he's the he's really the bad guy behind all the bad guys oh okay so eh yeah, so I the witness didn't do anything for me because I don't understand it and I don't really care. They didn't build enough for me to care, so yeah. But I'm glad you like it. Don't let me. I'm not trying to talk you out of it. I'm just saying it's sound for me to enjoy it. They're probably just going to have to do Destiny three, and that's probably what they're working on. You know, at this point, they've changed so much. They've done all this stuff. So you know, if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. I hear a lore master position just opened up. Lord Master Dahu, that's the million seed questions. The door is locked. Honestly, that's before 14. It slowly built the main character to the point where they could slay gods. You saw the build up to that point. Now it's like you can kill gods, have fun, kill off the main character, and start over. Oh, is that what they did? Like, I haven't played Final 14 mostly because what they say is like, oh, the first 100 hours is boring. And it's like, I'm not going to play something for 100 hours that's boring. You know, I'll go back to World of Warcraft, create a guy, play it for, you know, 30 levels, and then leave. You know, I'd rather do that than play something for 100 hours. So, eh. Working on Marathon? Oh, he lost an eye. You sure took a beating. Oh, look at him. He's got scars everywhere. Aw, this? It's nothing. You should see the other guy's hit. But really, yeah, it could have gone much worse. It should have gone much worse. It's only thanks to the paw of faith that we made it through with our whiskers intact. Don't sell yourself short. Well, Bungie's working on marathons who know what Sony will do with them. I mean, Sony did just release Helldivers, so... You know, the trouble is, it's kind of like, in my opinion, of course, which I'm the only one who can be heard, so ha ha ha, sucks. Um, everybody has seen the just the absolute hullabaloo, if you will, about this Helldiver game. And I think it's going to do exactly what the, what was the game? Dark Souls? When the new Dark Souls game came out and everybody was losing their mind about it, every game company was like, oh no, we need to start trying to make our game like Dark Souls. So hopefully they're not going to do the same thing with Helldivers. Like, oh my God, we need to, you know, make the game cheap or make it fun or whatever. But uh, Elden Ring, thank you. But yeah, everybody's like, oh, Elden Ring. Oh my gosh, we need to be make an Elden Ring game. And then they took their already made game and then tried to make it Souls-like. And it's like, eh. And nobody remembers those games. You know they came out. You know they were there. But nobody remembers a single one of them. But it's, you know. So I'm hoping that maybe they'll take positives from Helldiver. It made me cry a little as a kid and I couldn't stop crying. And MMO made me cry like a child. Elden Ring? Or Final Fantasy? I'm guessing Final Fantasy. What is he doing? Oh, he's repainting the picture? Guess what? I'm going full-time with my art. You know Molly, the painter from the Merchant Quarter? We're going to open an exhibition together right here in the Palace Galleries. That sounds cool. Maybe I'll come and see it. Please do. I was this close to being promoted to sergeant. But Thimblegar went and just got disbanded. I've got some thinking to do. Let's not give them a reason to act. They're going to kill us all. Are these doors made of bars of chocolate? I just thought about that. If you're trying to make a palace opulent, now I know, yes, it could be, it's probably wood. But, like, if you're trying to show off your wealth and extravagance, like gold and silver and all that crap, would these doors, doors be like chocolate bars? So it's like the forbidden chocolate. It's like, we have so much chocolate. We have so much food. We're making these doors out of chocolate before you walk into the fucking... You see what I mean? Could you? Can you picture it? Can you see it? Or am I crazy? I've written a record of that night. What do you want to know about? The Lore Master. Never met him, but the King's Lore Master, Oshavulas. As seen in the troll room before everything went crazy. Where it is he supported Leo's coup? That surprises me. I don't fuck this down with those don't rock the boat brand of politicos. What's his deal? I don't really get it. He found a way out of the city before dawn. My bet is gonna he's gonna retire somewhere in the outlands. 
Leo. Come on, man. You know what happened to Leo. You were the one who did it. Ooh. That's a little... That's a little painful. Fucking. Oh yeah, he's dead as a door now. Leo shanked him in front of half a dozen witnesses. No room for conspiracy theory, I'm afraid. Aquila. Uh, didn't they fucking explode? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Didn't they fucking explode? <laughs> that was your lot as a count of events, anyway. Sahababan so said something about a backup timer detonation, whatever that means. That reminds me, have you heard the crazy god activity going on upstairs? Gods coming and going, stomping and hollering. Do you think they're pissed off we exploded their clock tower? <laughs> it's just a clock tower, what's the big deal? Yeah, we kind of blew a big bend. Oops. Thanks, Steve. Oh, the gavel hole. That's that way. Wow. Oh, so this is like the royal treasury. Wow. Organic sunflower seeds. Look at them all. Look at all that seed. Wow. That's pretty hot. That's pretty hot. Just gonna go swimming for a little while. That's why, see, what was it? Not Donald Duck. His dad or his uncle, Scrooge McDuck? Yeah, Scrooge McDuck. I can see why he wants to go swimming in his gold now. Although that would be incredibly painful to dive into a pile of coins, wouldn't it? I don't know much about metallurgy, but... Approach Shahababan? Listening to you hasn't made me feel anything but anger. F -f 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 anger, pain, joy, laughter, f -f 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 emotions instead of text box. Yeah, I get that. There are some definitely some games that have done that for me. Um... Geez, one of the first games I tried to stream, and one of the regulars, like, the one of my first regulars was like, well, I'm not going to watch if you stream that game. So, of course, I never streamed it again. But I was like, this, I don't even remember the title of it, but it was like, it actually made me feel things. But yeah, Destiny 2 never, and again, I'm not trashing the game. It didn't make me feel things. It was like, oh, cool, kill this guy. Okay, go kill these things and collect 18 feet. You know, World of Warcraft really never made me feel much. I think there was a couple of things that made me feel... A little bit about it, but I can't think of an MMO that did that. Other than, oh, I take that back. The Matrix Online. The Matrix Online, which none of you played, I am 99% sure. 99.9% .9 sure. Well, gamer is going to be like, I played it. And because you like guys, you guys like being contrarians, you're going to be like, I played it. I loved it. But The Matrix Online, I loved that game. It was amazing. And it made me feel many feelings because they kill Morpheus. Like in the first two minutes of the game... It's like, okay, bang, Morpheus is dead. It's like, what? What? What just happened? What just happened? But anyway, let's approach Shepapapan. I made myself a fallen OC. You should post pictures of your fallen on the in the Discord, because I want to see it. Sivan? There's something troubling I learned from Akil Plague Master Akila's notes. I'm sorry to tell you this, but there are many yellow gods, not just one. Again, show me again. In fact, the, it is very likely that the yellow god we fought isn't even the same one you saw as a child. Oh, yeah, I know. I always knew. Or at least I figured that any god could wear yellow god's robes. I guess that from outside, my quest looked a bit stupid. But I never had any delusions about what I was doing. I knew I was never going to get my brother or my tail back from the Yellow God. So I chased the Yellow God's shadow. The hunt brought me, well, not quite peace, but something. An outlet. A direction for my anger. I see. Is that the reason why you let him go? What do you mean? Well, there's a lot of gossip in the city about why you didn't kill the Yellow God. Some think you let him go as an act of mercy. Others think it was so he could re relay a message to the other gods. Stay away from America. But to me, those reasons didn't add up. So is it that you held back because you knew he wasn't the right God? 
You knew it wouldn't be real justice. I can't do justice in her voice. Wouldn't be real justice. Justice. I can't do it. No, that's not it at all. As far as I care, this yellow god is as guilty as the last. I let him go well because... I'm tired. It's exhausting. The struggle, I mean. I've been angry for my whole life, and that fire is what kept me going. But it burned me away bit by bit, like a candle that reached its end. Oh, that's what they're doing in the intro on, like, the menu screen. Oh, that's adorable. But it burned me away bit by bit. I can tell you the baby, baby, baby. When I looked into the yellow god's eyes, I didn't see a reflection of a mouse. Just a ghost. Sorry, that's not a very satisfying answer. No, it's fine. I appreciate your honesty. I wasn't listening anyway. Are you okay, Shiver? Yeah, never better. Hey, who runs the kingdom now? Well, there's a royal line of succession, but the king never had any children. There are others in his bloodline and cousins alike, but no one's come forward to assert their claim. Probably scared after hearing about the old king's death. Not to mention the whole God of Death apocalypse thing. Most likely. So for now, at least, the Golden Throne is vacant. Huh. You know, that reminds me. There really haven't been... Now, I'm sure there's been, like, one or two. And I did know that there's a mobile version. But it's like, there's never been really a Game of Thrones game. Like, I'm sure there was, like, some shitty 90s Spongebob 2 the movie, the game type games. But there's never... I guess nobody's really done anything with that. There's no MMO. There's no Elden Ring Game of Thrones game. And that's just as weird to me. Because they have the... They had the seas oh, seven seasons of it. They did a, they've got a, seat, a show running now, I guess, with Doctor Who in it. Telltale did an adventure game. Well, that sounds weird. Is it one of those, like, you have to quick, basically a side story? Uh-oh. Nobody should sit on that thing. Then who will rule America, or Rodania, for that matter? Does it need a ruler? I suppose not. I'm going to take a walk. Where to? The Hawk's Nest. Basically a side story that intersected with the main plot. Eric. How do you pronounce that? Eric? 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 Never mind. I might leave the city. Maybe head to the Outlands. My home village is there. Can I come? No. I'd rather walk alone today. Sir Vern! Bruce, Gwen, and me were all there. Here, around, sex by diagonal. Here for you, right? I know. You're the best friends I could have ever hoped for. But I'm still gonna go kill myself. Dun 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 dun. dun. Wow. Uh oh. Oh no, it's the hottie. Oh no, he's gonna sing again. Watch this be the voice of the guy who made this game or something. Full of heartbreak and splendor. Go and Dariora Nagashi. Nagahane. I'm so bad at these fucking names. Why do people listen to me talk? Kofi Young. He's got Kofi in his name. Can you guys see that? Oh yeah, I'm short enough you can see it. And though your poor prince lead from away. Basically. There were a lot of you can tell this was made by furries, because they made as they made many of the characters hotter than they needed to be. Like they did it like in, on purpose. Like they made every character hot to somebody. Still, may you give 
Otter Princess Vivian. Yeah, they they had a lot of furries do this. Sneaky Gnida. Yeah, these people are afraid to put their real name in here, and I find that amusing and sad. Uh oh, super backers. Really, he put an at sign so he knew he'd be first. What a dick. Crom. <laughs> God awful waste of space. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. So nobody after K gave them any money. That's kind of disturbing. Pocket Jabari. I guess that's why he had a special. He had his own character. These are all characters, Frack. Yeah, so I guess people who gave the most money got to be a character in the game. I seem to remember that. Like, that was one of the tiers or something in this game. Maybe I'm thinking of something else, but it's like if you became, you gave them, like, an absurd amount of money, you could be in the game. But this was a great game. Like, I laughed a lot. Yeah, I want to be in the game. My name is Kenach190. And the developers just look at each other. No. I'm excited. I don't think I posted it in the in the um, Discord, but I'll try to. I'll try to remember. The uh, facial updates for my Krogan model, it's going pretty good. Because right now it just... it's guessing at what my, like when I go frown, it's kind of guessing at what I'm doing with my face, but soon it'll actually be doing what my face is doing, and that's kind of crazy. Oh, here we go. The end super backers. Okay, here we go, the K people. But while that's doing, I'm going to click buttons. Heh. <laughs> Did you at me? You added me in the art. Aw, that's pretty. Yesterday? When did you do it yesterday? I didn't see that. I swear I looked at this. What? I've looked at this since yesterday. What the crap is that? Oh, 12 a.m. Wait, what? I don't know what's going on. I have no idea what's happening. Let's see if I can... Why do I have to press the upload button twice to upload something? That makes me upset. I'm looking for something on my screen. Hang on. Hang on. I don't think I saved it. I think I just forwarded it. Save as... Blender video... I'll save it in there. Boop. Okay. Here we go. Come on, Discord. You can do it. Small Thaka. Oh, so that was it. So he just took a walk. Oh, he's just gone from the fucking... He got one. I think I did it. Okay. Boop. There we go. This is the whip of my Krogan's face. Now, yeah. streaming. And didn't post. So it didn't post it. I put it in there. It didn't put. There it is. It just took its time to load it. Okay. So there. It's in there. Uh, so somebody's actually working on it, um, and I'm incredibly excited to see what will happen with it, because it's always kind of annoyed me that my model doesn't do what my face does. Um, so I have no idea how 
it'll probably be the actual work will be done within a week or so. But then how the hell I'm going to get it to actually do things um, is going to, you know, do things. Uh, games map at Furry are more unique than regular games. I agree with that. Uh, yes, Krogan, I've been busy making fallen gear. We got... We got to spread the alien love while mowing down the Vex. <laughs> Vex, my beloved. You time traveling bastard. Is that what the Vex are? I know that they were robots, but they're, uh... Time traveling bastards, is that... That's what they are? Well, what happens if I continue? Oh. So I guess they left the door open for a sequel, though I don't know what you would do. Because, I mean, very clearly he's just tired of being alive. And uh, I'm a sci-fi nerd and a time-traveling puddle of saline piling a Mac is kind of my thing. Is that what they are? They're like liquid? Like, not liquid, but liquid snake. So wait, everybody gets a... Everybody leveled up. Uh-huh. Everybody levels up, but there's nothing else to do. That's a little weird. Alright. Alright. But yes, uh, I do want to make a list of games that I can just have underneath my stream that is basically just great uh, games to play. It's like stuff like Stray, uh, like this, obviously Baldur's Gate. Um, even though I didn't stream a lot of Baldur's Gate, the problem is is that I would get to playing it, and then the stream would end, and then I'd keep playing it, and then the next time I'm going to stream, I'd be like way further in advance than I was. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, so why don't we... Well, I don't really want to wrap it up, even though it's I've been streaming for, Jesus, five hours. I'm just going to screw around, so if you guys want to... I want to see if this actually will work. Play Doom. Play Doom the original. Launch TNT. What? What? I just want to... Such is the nature... Yeah, exactly. So let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. If this works, I'm going to be like... Impressed. Oh, it's going to work. Well, it's working for the moment. Got to have a separate stave for the stream. I did. I did. And uh, no, it didn't. It didn't work out. I do have to change... Doom 2. Doom 2 has 90,000 followers. <laughs> this is a mature... Really? Doom 2 is rated mature? Oh, that's so loud. Oh, that's so loud. Oh, that's so loud. What? What? Stop. What? Stop. Oh god, that was so loud. Okay, we're gonna try to use the controller for this. And play sensitivity, always run. Dual shock, why would you use gyro? That's pretty stupid. You can't even aim up in these games, so why would you possibly use gyro? But yeah, I just wanted to screw around in Doom. Me when I frost prunk. I can't stop once I start. Yeah. All right, Ken. Thanks for hanging out. I greatly appreciate you. This bug has to go to sleep. Well, thanks so much for hanging out. It was great to have you. I hope you sleep well. I'm going to try to kill Marines or not Marines. Space Marines. Only, you know, not the... Oh my god, this is hard to control with a controller. I've actually never played this with a controller. This is kind of sacrilege. All right, man. I will. I appreciate you. Yeah, to play a game that was designed for the mouse and keyboard and I'm playing it with a controller is a little, little crazy. I don't even know what the open button is, so I can't find my secrets. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Why is it so hard to aim with the controller? Is this why people with controllers suck at aiming? Alright, can I just... Flawlessly switch. Oh, I can. I can just flawlessly switch over with the mouse and keyboard. This is so much easier. The exit's right there. What the crap? 
Wait, no, E is switch weapons. That's not good. So what the hell is activate? Space, okay. Okay. Well, that wasn't exactly what I wanted to do. Smart. You know, I never actually played this on computer back in the day. I only played the first one. So it's like a new experience. Yeah, I Doom 1 was like... I can re I can still remember playing it, like, for the first time, like, oh my god, this is so gory, this is so violent, this is so realistic. Not exactly, but at the time, you're like, oh my gosh, this is so realistic, it looks so cool, wow. And yet, here we are, I was playing a game that took less time with less people, made way more money. Hey, stop. 40% of secrets. That's shitty. Okay, I said I'm a lot better at aiming. I lied. Okay, I lied. It's a lie. It was a lie. Besides, I don't play this game except for using the shotgun. So, you know, I don't want you I don't know what you want. From me. There it is. There she is. Yeah. This is how you're supposed to play the game. If I can't get to the shotgun bullets. My beloved shotgun bullets. That does really bite you in the ass when you get hit by it. That's a lot of shotgun guys. Well, that's the key card. I got it. I got the key card, guys. I just love how simple the games were back then. Like, there's not even a jump button. I just run fast and I go, <laughs> Momentum! These, these days are... I mean, if you released a game like this right now, you'd probably be just shellacked. Wait, does he attack the marines too? I never noticed that. The monsters attack the marines? The zombie marines? What's up with that? Controller only sucks for aiming when the game doesn't provide adequate sensitivity adjustment. Well, yeah, I'm gonna say that this game does not do that. Holy crap, he just ate half of my health. Fucking bulls. But yeah, I'm just so used to using mouse and keyboard to aim, because that's all I've ever used, so... <laughs> an ammo counter? Who needs an ammo counter? Oh god. See, I love how my first instinct is to throw a grenade, and this game doesn't have grenades. And that shotgun guy was killed by uh, a marine. That was funny. The super shotgun? I don't remember a super shotgun. I'm so used to controller that I couldn't use a keyboard to save my life. Yeah, I get you. I'm just gonna use the regular shotgun, I think. I don't need to be burning too. Oh, I can't. Oh, I push the button and it goes back. Ding. They actually did release that, uh, there was a Warhammer game that looked like this. It was like a pixel version of, uh... Oops. Where you ran around with a bolter and stuff. I actually bought it. I don't remember playing it at all, though. Yeah, this burns two at once. That's not so great. Oh, is that what it's literally called? Bolt gun? It's very good. You're very good. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't like this. Luckily, the explosive barrel killed most of them. Yeah, they just kill each other. That's kind of funny. Really? The barrel didn't go off? No, shoot the barrel, you prick. Shoot the barrel, you prick. Oh, I shot the wrong barrel, you prick. 
Uh, it's got to feel the old school Cheers of Modern Sensibilities updates as well, although some of the levels can get a bit long. Yeah. See, the trouble with this game is I have, I do have it, I have it like on Switch. Um, I still didn't play it much, is because so quickly I find an air a map that I can't find my way out of. Like they, they don't, you don't have a map, and I've got just so used to. Oh Christ! Yeah, a room with three shotgun bad guys. That's not great. But uh, I like got lost, and I'm spending 45 minutes trying to find the exit, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I've been ruined. Try pressing tab. Huh. That's a rudimentary map if I ever saw one. I like it. Everyone gets lost in Doom? Yeah. Oh, it went through the door and hit me. Son of a bitch. Go fast. Oh, I didn't go fast enough. Or it's a trick. You can't actually get it from there. Box of shells. Box of shells. Well, it is a map, but will it do anything for me is the real question. That seems like a trap. It was. It was. Go down. It was. Go down. <laughs> that was not a nice thing to do to me. I do not appreciate that. I'm not going to play this long. I just wanted to screw around with it a little bit. I'm surprised it works on... I'm guessing because it's like the remake. It's not really a remake, but it's been updated by Bethesda. Because we had all that bullshit right at the start. It's like, join the Bethesda fan club. Whereas in the original, it told you about shareware and stuff. Like, this is free software. Share it. Wow, that was cool. See, you just never know whether it's actually going to shoot the guy who's below you, or it's just going to fucking whiff. That was a bit over here. This is a problem. Further problems have been discovered. Just shoot. You don't have to think, just fire the gun. And click this button to make you look for doors. <laughs> Ow, you son of a bitch. That's not a good sound. That was not a good sound. <laughs> that was a lot of bad guys warping into the room. Can't lower it. Okay. I'm a little bloody, it's fine. I look hotter when I'm blooded up anyway. That was almost bad. Hello. Yeah, I could never stream the newer dooms on stream just because I'm not my hands aren't good enough for it. So it'd be a very boring stream of me running around and then dying. The rocket launcher, that seems is there an invisible pinky in here? Did I just see that? I always like the chain gun too, it just takes so long to kill shit. Health stuff. Health and things, things and health. What was that? Turning red. Oh, there is a pinky! I wasn't crazy. I wasn't crazy at all. Ha! Ah. Those things mess you up. It's like, oh, by the way, they're invisible bad guys now. What? You can't do that to me. Push the pot. No! Uh, so close. Oh, health packs. That's never good. This seems unfair.
There are a lot of bad guys down there. Holy moly, can you hear them? Yeah, you never know if you're pointing at the thing below you or not. No, it's so it's sad. I missed. That's not gonna be good. Like, I was legitimately scared of those things when I was little. It's like, holy crap. They're a lot worse than uh, the things in Duke Nukem. Really? Oh, that's where I just came from. Got the box of bullets. Oh, there's an invisible pinky in there too now. And I can't see where he went. That's kind of the point, I guess, but... Well, that worked. At least there's no fall damage, right? Triple kill. <gasps> Armor! Oh, I missed. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Point blank shotgun that I missed. That's the most Krogan thing in a while. No secrets. No secrets. But that's that's also kind of the way I work. I don't I don't like secrets. This secrets between friends? No, it's fine. All right. Well, here's what we're gonna do. Why don't we go do something else? And by go do something else, why don't we go make fun of Rudy, uh, who is doing Beat Saber, who always does Beat Saber when they're not moderating other streams. Um, but here's what we're going to do. I'm going to try to do this again tomorrow. I'm going to try to get a string of streams going. Why not? Let's just try for a couple days. Uh, cause I know on Friday, I'm not going to be here, but let us, let us do the thing. Uh, I'm going to try to figure out what I'm going to play tomorrow, but, uh, I appreciate you guys hanging out. You don't know how much it means. Uh, for those of you who hung out early, those of you who hung out now, uh, let's actually, it looks like they are ending stream so maybe not okay well then let's go do lobo lobo cito so we'll go see what they're up to uh they're doing a card game it looks like but we haven't raided them in a while and they're good people so uh you kiddos have a good night and uh we'll look forward to seeing you hopefully tomorrow Ca -ca <laughs>